<laughs> Wait a minute. That's supposed to be my lines for what's led up to this. <laughs> what did you did you see? Sword something? hand again. Yeah, sword hand. Oh, <laughs> sword hand every time. Sword hand. Oh, sorry. Hey guys. The name of episode eight should have been was sword hand. Sword hand. The freaking episode. Oh my yes. god. The, the, it's not the band of the red hand. It's the band of the sword hand. <laughs> sword hand. <laughs> I got a sword. I'm gonna show you. I'm freaking got swords on the wall. Well, I don't want to get fingerprints on them though. So we want we want short yeah. hand. Hello, sorry we were late. Nathan's internet blew up for a second, but but we're here. Ah. We we made it, and uh, yeah, uh, Alvin's hey. here, uh, ready to vote. Uh, I think uh, today today we're done. No, we got one more day to go. Yeah, there's the, still this the is, final. This, but... is, this is the fecal four. There's still we got we got to get it down to two. Yep. But in honor of all the frustrations leading up to this, I have a nice 32 ounce beer. That is a big beer. Yep. Sorry. Sounds like something's leaking over here. I'm just opening my beverage. Sorry about that. Oh, funny. I can match that. Yeah, I'm sure your sound's better than my farting Pepsi, but it's okay. It's all right. So, <laughs> but, uh, but hey, what's up, John? So, Nerporeal answered your question, uh, I think. Dude, that is that a match? So is that cup matching? Did it come with the beer? Uh, I've actually had the mug for a long time. Um, the Hofbra House is a it's a start over in Germany, but they've opened up a few here in Ohio. Oh, I thought you were going yeah. over. Nope, not yet. <laughs> there you go. But, but yeah. uh, so I think the Reporial answered your question right there. I guess next week, uh, Lord of Chaos. So. Uh, inquiry minds like to know Dempsey. Thank you for the support, brother. The music maker of the uh, the fight scene autopsy intro. I mean, come on, does it get right. any better than that? Makes me laugh every time until the end where Sword Hand takes over. But but yeah, so uh, here we are. We I, I don't even know where we left off in Flop May, but uh, 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 Inktar just had his non redemption moment. Oh boy, yeah, it because but- it took us. Oh, it took us how long to get through? Uh, Forty seconds, two hours? Not even two hours. We spent an hour and a half, I think, on yeah, basically well, 20, and, and, twenty-five seconds. And as I said, I apologize, but I did, I was uh, convinced to we we need to do uh, blood snow after all this, just because. Uh, well, I'm tired of hearing about how great that fight scene is when it's utter garbage. Oh, I I'm a hundred percent with you on that, brother. It's it, the uh, fun. Yeah, it must oh, yeah. be done. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is like uh, recently I've uh, just for sound, because I'm not sure if I did the first time or not, because we were covering it, but uh, listening to slash watching EFAP's coverage of the Rings of Power. And, oh, my. I bet uh, that was. Yeah. They, they, I, the amount of shreds they've torn it into is, is and then you get, you know, the, the Galadriel fight scene just it's like oh boy it's like oh boy mm. 
So it's one of those, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun to listen back on some of that just, just for that. Uh, but, uh, I mean, that was pretty much almost, <laughs> almost the one fight scene in that whole season. And uh, we may need to do that. I don't know. Eventually, maybe. I mean, I, I just, yeah, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Yeah. It wasn't good. Yeah, look, look at that golden deliciousness right there. Yeah, uh, if yeah, I mean it looks pretty. I'm not a beer guy, but you know I don't drink the, I don't drink the hard stuff. Well, I don't drink anything. Honestly, honestly, the beer, is, like we went to this restaurant on Saturday, mm-hmm. and it was the first time I'd had a beer in. Oh well, no, I'd had one f- relatively recently, but really, it's it's the first one that I purchased for myself in probably. Oh, 12, 14 months. So I pretty much stick to the hard shit. <laughs> I, I was going to say, is Trip having an aneurysm? I'm pretty sure, like, Eggy freeing herself is gone. Well, y- you know Trip. I mean, the feminist that she is. I, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, I was going to be like, wait a second. Eggy, Eggy, uh, you know, freeing herself already lost to, to uh, Ingtar, so. Wait, so yeah, so sorry. It's my it is my fault indeed. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can I can uh, I can take credit for that that one. We we watched we watched it uh, we watched we watched it change hands uh, in, during the stream. So mm-hmm. yeah, so Wish there you, you go. Did. Yeah, man. So I, it's amazing the amount of uh, terrible articles I found. To, to make it not a, a two minute stream for for some of those, uh, because <laughs> some of those articles are oh my god terrible. Uh, you're doing three guys at once. I, I well I don't that's too much information trip. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Getting a little bit uh, crazy. So yeah, so we're down to four and. Egwene is nowhere she to be seen. Live. Which is great. She she does live relatively close to Mormon country, so I could understand that. Oh wait, that's supposed to be the other way around. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I think we're we're triggering trip. <laughs> yeah, she, 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 we're gonna, she's going to reach her final form and kill us. So, so we better. <laughs> right. she, she may grow. She may grow into like a Godzilla monster and eat us. So we better we better we better lay off a little bit. Um. But uh, yeah, so so we figured uh, you know uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll do we'll do our voting today uh, before the show. Uh, that way we don't miss it this week. The 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 the, the fecal four um, moving into the final, which I think we all. Well, I, I don't want to say that there. Were, I don't know. There there's some some things that uh, I was actually surprised how how close. Uh, what what is kneeling? Kneeling is going to be up against. Um, oh God. Yeah. I don't want to. Well, I guess I can. Kneeling is up yeah, against. I mean, do we want to do this now, or do we want to wait a few to let some people in? Or I mean, I figure we can wait a few to let some people in. But okay, um... yeah, let's, let's wait. Oh, Turok, that's right, that's right, Turok. Yeah, the dinosaur hunter, death. And yep. you know that that you know Turok, the Turok one. I think um, might might be able if anything's able to beat on your knees it might be that just because the Turok mm-hmm. death scene like it um it, it provoked a, a reaction in most people an mm-hmm. instant like what the fuck was that emotion for most people that watched it uh, honestly um let's see here i think any of these uh, 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 the Ashendari dagger for me, uh, mm-hmm. that one for me is the weakest of the four. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, but but the other three uh, have a strong case for winning the whole thing. Not that Ashendari would be pissed off about that one winning. 
that would be pissed off about it when it's it's such a conflicting it's thing so weird, right? Joe, right it's so <laughs> weird it's such a weird yeah it's such a like no vote is ever wrong and it's just like it's just the weirdest thing but well like, i, I just no you know wrong. the da- the dagger thing oh god when you start oh, looking uh, in like what when you start piecing together what they're doing in season three the dagger thing starts becoming even worse and worse and worse and worse and worse because they, they they literally said, well, everybody's... Ex- th- th- I'm sure this is how it was in the writing, writing room. Was Well, everybody's expecting Matt to have his hat and his scarf. Mm-hmm. They, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure they just forgot about the medallion. So I, I don't think we're going to see the medallion. They probably just forgot about it. So they're going to see him in his hat and his scarf and his, you know, his, his, his nice jackets and things. Um and they're gonna expect to see his his Ashendari, so you know we really need to get that done. But we really don't want to send him to the waste. So let's just have him make it out of the dagger. It's like Jesus Christ. And then, and then you yeah. know that you know he's just gonna be a purse holder in Tanchico for the girls. We already well, know this. Well, do you, do you think they're gonna? Uh rope in that storyline where he's uh held by what's her name and and raped repeatedly or great sorry, Thail- sorry thailand thailand but thailand, well, I think. well instead of making it it's ebo dar that she does yeah it's ebo dar she she does no, that they in, don't right? care well i know they don't care but yeah so I, I why not yeah why not how how about just it's that's 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 how women do it in every city in 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 uh you know wheel of time they just mm-hmm. you know they're able to you know call call their their you know slaves toy and do what they want with them mm-hmm. you know have a marriage knife and you know do settle and will be in it like a freaking you know held up like a superstar she is and uh yeah the shield the sh- you're right the shield is a better version of the medallion you're right you're absolutely right that <laughs> I, I don't doubt it the parents gonna carry that shield around all season Yes, that's exactly what he is suggesting now, Dan. What? Wait. <laughs> are you suggesting? Where are you late to the? Are you are you late to the party, man? I think that's been one of Staple Bode's and Janon's. I don't know at the same time or not, but I'm pretty sure both of them have been like, yeah, Matt's Matt's dad. You know, they've changed it to the shield. Yeah, there you go, the Foxhead Shedalian. There you go. Was there a fox head on it? Please let there be a fox head on the shield somewhere. <laughs> oh, please let please let there be oh, a fox man. head on the shield somewhere. Oh my god. Is there? Oh man, that would just be the icing, right? It's like you can't even make this shit up. But yeah, okay. you know, I mean what other explanation do we have for stopping and breaking apart, you know, Ishmael's wheeze with the power, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> you drank through that party? Well, most people did, I think. <clears throat> I think it's an eagle. Oh, dang. Dang. Oh, shoot. Hi, guys. Well, I'm, I'm getting a real show. good look out of here. My favorite character is... Well, yeah, exactly. Anybody whose favorite character is Matt, and look, Matt is a close, obviously way up there for me, but, not, you know, Rand's my guy, but... So I'm not doing much better than anybody that likes Matt, frankly, <laughs> the best. But anybody whose favorite character in the in the books is Matt is just got to be hella bent out of shape at this point, I would imagine. Oh, Nathan's doing a head tilt here. Do we have a fox head? Do we That's have bad. a fox head with an eagle or a raven? <laughs> just eat, I'll take either. Let me. I don't know what it is. It could. be. I mean this, and this oh, would make bring sense. Bring it up. It could be a fox head. Are you fucking kidding me? It could. It could. It could. It would make sense. Are if we getting? It's a dick. Are we getting shield hammer out already? No, Holy it, shit! It might be a dick because uh, because <laughs> of uh, uh, Uno's swallowing of the horn to be a hero of the horn. It might be a dick. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Anything's possible. What in fuck is that? Are we saying that's right? an eagle? I don't know what that is. And there. So, but that's about as good of a, a view of it as we get. So it's a little 
fuzzy. But I don't see how that could be a fox head. <clears throat> Are you sure that's not a fox on like a leaf? Like, this, <laughs> do you see how there's like the oh, little curvy thing and like there's a, a fox, fox on it? It's like a, a really fat the way of the leaf, so it's he like doesn't a little... eat meat. <laughs> it's a really fat fox on there. <laughs> like he's just eating eating a fucking bird or something. Is that you supposed the... to be an eagle? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Or is that just some decorative shit? <laughs> Not a Nike swish <laughs> on, on a bear, bear shit. <laughs> 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 oh man! Ah. Yes, but none, uh, none of them, but none of him, none, but none of them are his. He just picks them up off the ground. Okay. Maybe like, maybe maybe, oh. maybe Aldan is onto something. Maybe, but maybe it's more of like a wallaby. Look. Pern is not even going to have a hammer. He's not even a blacksmith. So why yeah. does he need a hammer? Right. He's a protector who protects Jack's shit. Oh right? My. So. Oh, boy. Nike, I, I like that. I can't tell what the fuck that is. I can't either. What in the fuck is that? Who designed these fucking props? Well, that we've been asking that for two years now, almost well, a year and a half. Right? I, I just or is it two years? Yeah, it's been almost two years. I, it's so bad. Hold yeah. Parent shield wheel of time. I dude, somebody just somebody on the W O T. Oh my god, I can't go there. But so I wasn't sure how I liked Guido Kane giving Perrin that shield that he uses to help Egwene block Ishmael's attack. Oh, Fuck man. off. Are you like you fucking sheep? Like how he's not no. I, I'm convinced that these shills are just hoping, hoping beyond hope that their lord and master Rafe J- Judkins is surfing the internet and will just deign to uh, bless them with a response. And I'm sure that's why they're saying it. It's it just there's no other reason to say something that stupid. It's like no. And anybody that tries to say that shit is canon, I might fucking punch in the face. It looks like a bear fucking a dolphin. You might be that. that that's that's. <laughs> yeah, it could be a, a a hedgehog on a on a on a leaf or. I, I'm I'm go, I'm good with turd. I, I think the turd. Yeah. What's up, Lau? Turd, yeah. The Black Hawk of Shinar? Yeah, you're I know, I just that, saw that. <laughs> you're telling me that's, like, like is that what we're calling an eagle? This is the best they could do for, like, I know we're supposed, to, we're going to be voting here in a second. We're just letting people filter in, but, but like, what in fuck? Yeah. Like you couldn't pick a, you couldn't make it a wolf. Like you couldn't make it a wolf. Just put a wolf on the shield. If you're gonna give maybe. them the wolf, if you're gonna give them the shield, put a wolf on it. Ma- like, maybe it, maybe it's the Black Hawk of Shinar taking a shit on with, a leaf with, with Down syndrome, which is par for the show. Because then that would be proper representation. <laughs> I just and, and just this whole this whole Guido Kane thing. It's just like, can we? St- oh God! Well, and, that, and you, you were like, talking to me. On, oh God! You dude. were telling me on the phone yesterday about how that was some stupid fanfic type of thing way back in the day. And well, there was apparently there was a theory. Like I never heard about it, but apparently there was a. Th- a theory out there that that he that parent that I'm sorry that Uno was was Guido Kane reborn and it was you know debunked rather easily in several different ways 
Number one being he's too fucking old. <laughs> you know, he, he's way too... You know, if Over is too old to be Guido Kane, then Uno is definitely way too old to be Guido Kane. So what are yeah. we even talking about? Plus, I know there's there's several other other things that debunk the theory. Um, you know, the best theory is still that it's it's Grady, uh, the, the Grady boy, because he's... Said, said to be a relatively ugly baby or something like that. So, and the timeline fits up. But um, you know, Over was straight up debunked, and he was a was a fan favorite thought for being Guido Kane, especially because of how much Brigitte uh, Brigitte uh, Brigitte like adored him. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, yeah. But but the, <laughs> but that theory about Uno being it, it's debunked mostly because it's just plain fucking stupid. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just, it's just, it's not even, it's, yeah. Uh, and then to just like, and then to just freaking, okay, oh, well, I was told, no, no, that was some bullshit. It's not true. It's, and it's again, it's again, this is again, this is again why we have to do this shit because they're tr- that is that is that is a hundred percent them trying to erase the actual canon of the book okay mm-hmm. the actual canon of the book proves that uno is not Guido Kane. so for them to go oh well the show has uh you know confirmed a a, 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 fa- a, a terrible fan theory that Guido Kane is is uno it's like no it hasn't it hasn't. They just said two things. Randall Thor isn't Randall Thor in your show. Matt isn't Matt in your show, and Parent isn't Parent in your show. So why would I believe that you telling me that Uno is Guido Kane is freaking canon in a ser- series that you can't even get the characters that exist right? So it just makes me crazy. And then, you you know, if I was to go onto that Reddit right now and be like, you're crazy. I, I don't care what you say. Uno is not Guido Kane. I don't care what they say. It's been disproven many, many times. I'd get instantly banned. Again. On a different account. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Because they don't want to hear it. But those are the th- those are the things that those are the things that that make this shit bad. It's like if you want to make a bad fantasy movie, fine or show, fine. Make a bad fantasy show. There's a ton of them out there already. Mm-hmm. But you're trying to erase stuff and make stuff up that that isn't the truth and doesn't exist in the books. It's it, it's it's disproven in the books. Every anybody that's actually read the books and isn't shilling for you knows, and, and smacks their head and go, where the hell are they getting this? So they're just trying to erase it and be, be like, well, we can change it however we want. Robert Jordan's dead. And it's like, right. no, no, get hands off. Stop it. Stop it. Right. Uh, sorry, Sam, Sam for two bucks. Sorry for misspelling Matt. I listened to the audio. I listened to the audio books too. So, hey, man, thank you. Yeah. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have I to do that. Either. I appreciate that. Who got it? Let me see who got it. Got one. Staplebow. Uh, Staplebow got it. Well, welcome back to the... Uh, get, celebrate with some emotes, man. There you go. Bad fantasy like The Outpost. I don't um, I don't know that I watched The Outpost. Yeah. Um, did you miss that super chat earlier? Which one? This one? I said it. Oh, Sam, did you? Okay, I'll, I'll read it again. Why not? Thank you, Sam, for two bucks. <laughs> Sorry, I misspelled Matt. I listened to the audiobooks. Yeah, I oh, listened. To, you did, you that, did that's how okay. I I initially read through the series first, but every time I re I re uh, reread it, um, it's it's the audio version. So yeah, Steve it, now calls great. him Matthew. I do, <laughs> Matthias. <laughs> I, I, I refer to him as Matthias, Matthias Cothon. Matthias Cthulhu, how are you, sir? Matthias Cthulhu, 
That's what I feel like. Cthulhu. 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 I am, I am Matthias Cthulhu. How are you? Don't forget <laughs> Avienda at Prophet of the Dragon. Not my Avienda. Is not Avienda in the show, but you're right. Most of the male characters are mere shadows with no depth to them of the Jordan characters. So I just stopped at the three boys. None of the characters are the characters from the books. Nynaeve isn't. Yeah. Egwene, Avienda, Elaine. None of them. None of them come from the book, yet they want w- will as much as possible reference the book and say that it's brought from this or Guidel Kane is Uno. Why why don't we just make Guidel Kane Ingtar and uh Sure I don't know, he gets killed what twice. I, I don't know. Uno came back in, in Ingtar and and took his body and died because he sucks. I don't know. Like we're just, we're just making up shit, right? I mean yep. So it's, it's just it's, believable, as the re- believable as the rest of the stuff. It, it's it's just it's just it's just nauseating, man. Uh, I I think I think so. Like Cameron, like th- it's always been a, a debate, sort of not not with me. I, I think I, I think um, and thanks for being here. Um, I think Sanderson is. And I know, you know, a lot of people call me a Sanderson shill, and that's fine. But I, I really do think he's sort of walking a line, trying not to say too much. Um, mm-hmm. But I do still think that that uh, him watching uh, episode eight live of season two uh, gave everybody a view of what he really thinks of this show. It yep. was the best thing we ever got to see. Uh, not not that you know. Of course, he he apologized for a lot of it afterwards to try and pull it back. But uh, there was a lot of reality being dosed in that in that stream yeah. that uh, well, nobody really wanted. Well, nobody on that side of things wanted to see because they were cringing it, and going, "Woo, oh my god!" A lot. So, well, uh, if I yeah. remember correctly, uh, watching that stream, Sanderson straight up admitted that he hadn't watched most of the season. Yep. So yeah, like they'd watched an episode or two too. and then then jumped into episode eight. And so it's like, well, that there you go. That that I mean, tells was, you enough right there. There was some low key, like almost like well, they didn't listen to me anyways, so I, right. I you know, they weren't listening to me, they didn't ask for any notes. Uh so why do I give a fuck? It right. was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank- wow. <laughs> That's why when if you watch back my stream going over that stream, I love it, man. I that that is that is probably yeah. my favorite stream ever to be put on the internet. Because all of the truth bombs not only being laid out by Sanderson, but by Green, who is yeah, still one of the biggest shills for the show. Well uh, and, I know he's I, changed his mind a little bit here and there, but I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, and I still say that you can still see reactions out of uh, the Dusty Wheel guy. Whatever oh, him too. Him, him too. Like, all of like them. Th- th- there, were, there were plenty of times where he looked at that and was going, what the hell is this shit? And then kind of realized what he was doing and flipped his facial uh, to a more shilly statement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and, uh, well, it was one of those, and, uh, yeah, so, Grifter, yep, successful fantasy author and Jordan's chosen successor in the season two finale kept saying, I told them not to do this or add that. They just didn't listen to him. And, you know, I tried. <laughs> I tried was, was the thing that came out several times out of his mouth. I tried. What's up, Zach? Zach's, Zach's will be going over Shogun later. Check it out. Good stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll see, hopefully we're done by then. Uh, probably not, but you know us. So, but uh, <laughs> but uh, dude, I was gonna say something. So so yeah. So it's one of those things. Um, I, I don't know. It, so it's, it's like I mean, and why would he, why would you listen to Sanderson? He just bought Utah or something with his. And- <laughs> He made another twenty two. He, what he's made? He's a, what? How much is it now? The grand total from from oh, from freaking Kickstarters, it, it, forty twenty three plus fifteen. So what? It's seventy million dollars he's made in Kickstarters. Forty. Tw- uh, yeah, I think it was forty two twenty three. That brings it up to sixty five. Another fifteen. So he's eighty. Eighty million. Yeah, it's only don't don't listen to the guy that just made eighty million dollars <laughs> in Kickstarters. Just you know, yeah. why why would we listen to that guy? So. Uh, 
<laughs> oh shit, I missed it. Dusty looked like an after picture of lobotomy. I advertised it for most of the street. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, I love it when he starts ripping people. Oh my I, goodness! I haven't got to see it, episode seven yet. I got to check it out, but uh, but yeah, it's, oh, it's on Shogun. Yeah, yeah, uh, this episode. So. It's a setup episode, is it? Um, yeah, oh, I mean, there's a lot, plenty of stuff happens. It, it, it's still a really good episode. I, um, I yeah, which is which? Yes, I, I, I yeah. I get it. Yeah, I know, Chris. <laughs> but, like, oh, fucking Brigitte flirted with a guy once. Right. That's Guy okay. Cain! <laughs> How many of us have seen a homosexual flirt with a girl? It doesn't mean oh, that they're going to be together, right? Well, I mean, like, like actually, you know, Brigitte acts like a freaking guy a lot. She flirts with a lot of people. She she hangs out. She oh, drinks. Yeah. She gambles. She likes to be with the guys. So she flirts with people. Everybody, everybody that everybody, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> so every so Matt's guy okay because you know because yeah. we we she likes giving him pushback and and, and yeah. fucking with them and they're boys, right? So I, I it's just it's so bad. It's yeah, just I'm I, so I'd, tired of it. I, I'd mess with Brigitte if I was a fictional character too. Of course, everybody would. Yeah, it's like that and men. Hell yeah, Brigitte fe- flirted with every <laughs> well-rounded <laughs> rump that passed her eyes. She's freaking right, exactly. Ooh, I'd be exactly a good shit. no, and that's exactly so. So it's like so. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I. I I'm not beating you up, Chris. Okay. I, I. I know. I know that you're just stating that that's where it comes from. It just yes, that you're absolutely right. That's where it comes from, and that's how ridiculously stupid that theory is because that's where it comes from. It's like every person in Randland is Guido Kane. Then it's like okay, yep. it's like all right, why not? I guess I don't know, I don't know. So, but yeah, so well, we got 22 people here now. Thank you for being here. I think it's probably time we get on with the vote. Yep. Uh, or we're never gonna we're never gonna do any fight scenes tonight. So sixteen <laughs> likes, thank you very much. Appreciate you all. Uh if you have not uh trip trip if you would uh you can share that linky poo uh to the yeah. Discord uh for the final vote of the of the, the red hand uh well not the final, I'm sorry. The fecal four. The, the fecal four. So not quite the fun. Does that make it worse or no that makes it worse? I want to make it try and make it a little bigger. That can make, that's a little bigger. Is that better? There we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. Oh wow, that gets us. Okay, it didn't go down to the. Okay, good, 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 good. Trying to make it so like people can see the words a little better. Okay, there we go. All right, looking good. Yep. All right, so there all right, we go. Hit the hit the we link. So drink. all right, so. Cheers, so as Dane, we we must read Dane's uh, eloquent uh, prose here. So uh, and so we reach the fecal four, the four shittiest moments of season two. I want to congratulate the panel of experts who were seated the top sixty four, including Alex Green, myself, technically Mexican, Trip Pips, uh, Mana Manethrin, and Nerporeal himself, and the chat on our live streams, which hopefully will get unblocked one day for reply. Well, yeah. Oof, that sucks. Um, I think congratulations are in order because the fecal four consists of seeds one, two, five, and six. Also, it's worth noting that the chat on the live stream contributed tens for these moments, along with the arrow through the knee and no others. Oh, no shit. That's an interesting stat. Now we aren't done yet. There are four moments who we need to reach, and we need to reach a champion. Vote in two remaining head to head matchups, and the winners will face off. For the dreaded finals. All right. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So what do we got here? So number one versus number five. So we got, we were really mad with, with season one when they had the man who in the books extols masculinity virtue with his advice to face it on your feet. Kneel and cry like a bitch. 
<laughs> little did we know what we would would be in for for season two when said bitch delivers the line <laughs> and then ran proceeds to kneel for the final two episodes the show will always be worse than we can imagine kneeling rand i know that's just kneeling guy but mm -hmm. Against number five, promotional clips and trailers all hinted at an epic showdown between Rand and the Sean Chan dude with the silly fingernails that we assume was Lord Tarok Dinosaur Hunter. Some people rightfully w wondered how that guy was going to fight with those fingernails. Others wondered how Rand was going to fight, considering he'd never trained with his katana. But did anyone see the fake out coming? Rand just slaughters them with the power. It's not like the fight was significant for Rand's growth as a character or anything. I am actually a little bit shocked that this is so what lopsided. I am not. <laughs> I I can see why it could be more competitive. Um because it, cause it's such an epic moment in the book. Yeah. Um it is not the ultimate epic one in the book i think we're getting to that one here in a few minutes um with inktar yeah, but but well that and the sky battle i mean there's so, what is the sky so battle what, what is the sky battle right oh no what that's where uh that, that's where a flaming dragon wraps around a tower and gives it a hug yes because Lanfear wanted it there yes um <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Landfear. Everything was Landfear. Why is the show just called Landfear? Now, the face on your feet, I always recalled that from being from uh, uh, Eye of the World. Am I wrong? Was that from The Great Hunt? Great Hunt, yeah. It's when uh, he's going in to see Suan for the first time. Oh, that's right. Lan, okay. Lan is busy, busy in the back preparing. They're, they're practicing swords. They're actually okay. practicing swordmanship, and he's teaching yes. them some shit because he knows Rand's going to be important. He's going to need to know how to sword fight. And then he, yeah. he when 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 the Amarillin shows up, he starts yeah, that's uh, right at the beginning. teaching him how to act in front of the Amarillin and, and speech and stuff that he should be doing and, and all that. and And, yeah. And, the, and that's it yeah, yeah. so so I mean, that's that's where it comes from land has some great teaching moments in the first two books that it's easy to kind of get them lost oh yeah in, oh in, yeah in the shuffle but like like land for me <laughs> is just the ultimate <laughs> teacher in this yes uh, absolutely <laughs> like it it was land fear all along Do you know? Fucking bitch! God damn it! I swear to God. But uh, yeah, no, no. Well, he he's shit, man. Rand carries most of his his tutelage through the whole book. Mm -hmm. So yep. I mean, it's it's not. Uh... Oh no! I noticed something that makes this season even worth worse. If Gowan and Galad were in this season, and they both were chasing Egwene, like in the books, Alana's at. <laughs> <laughs> Alana's advice scene would make much so much more sense. <laughs> so just 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 grab the brothers and get get it on. Is is what you yeah? They missed an opportunity, didn't they? All they had to do is introduce the brothers, and they could have had a menage, maybe a four way because she's still in love with Rand in, in the, at this point. So you know. Speaking of uh, other things that they messed up messed up in the show. I, I thought about this. Uh, Am I ready for this? Yeah, it's it's nothing. It, it's just just in terms of the operation of how the, how you stage battles and all that. Um, so you got the trebuchet. Oh God, yes. the wonderful superior aim. Yes, uh, that are shot from their camp, which is is pretty amazing in itself. Um, yeah, what a distance! I, right. <laughs> So they shoot the only time that you the, you see them shooting at the city and then it hits the tower and then that's the last you see of anything with the trebuchets. Meanwhile, the horses that go into the town as they're shooting the, the when they after they start shooting or no they go into the town and then they start shooting the trebuchets while their men are in the city. And then they're like to the tower, and they're aiming the trebuchets at the tower. 
<laughs> it's true. I didn't even think about it. Why? <laughs> well, they just want to get as many kills as they can. They got to rack right. them up. They got to yeah. put. They got to paste them on the side of there like they're fighter pilots. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry, yeah. losers, Nerporeal, Pips, and Shy. You guys are losers. Okay. I was. <laughs> I just wanted to check. I figured I I I, I wanted to see how if, if I, I Brian this was I know this was Brian's like ten ten of tens right here. No, was, his his sorry. ten was the uh, dragon wrapping around the. I I thought it was this one. I know this was yeah. was I know that he hated this. Yes. Mm. All right, moving yeah. on. Why would they even use a trebuchet, anyways? When there's you, they just well, yeah, portcullis, like use what poor portcullis, like he just wants to be used. <laughs> poor Pete the portcullis, he's just sitting there going, "Can you please put me down so I can kill a bitch?" No, okay, all right. I don't know why you built me, but yeah, <laughs> all right, right half. Matt stares longingly at the dagger. We all know that scene was stupid. Yes, book pad and fane wouldn't give up, give give that weapon up. What is with this, anyways? Is it this supposed to to tempt Matt to the shadow? What is he doing now? Is that a hockey stick? Is that supposed to be an Ashendar? Be his Ashendari? He's killing people with it. He used it to get the Horn of Valir out of the box. He's fighting alongside the Heroes of the Horn with that, <laughs> the most evil weapon in all of the world. <laughs> what is the what in the name of the light is this nonsense? Well said. Well said. Mm-hmm. Well said. Against six, the book. You are a better man than I, Shepherd or Lord. A better man. The prophecy says, let who sounds me think not of glory, but only salvation. It was my salvation I was thinking of. I would sound the horn and lead the heroes of the ages of Sheogul. Surely that would be enough to save me. No man can walk so long in the shadow that he cannot come back again to the light. This show. Yep. Wow! Yeah. And Holy I'm... shit. Whoa, yeah. mama. And, and I just leveled it. Whoa. So, ones. so you're 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 a tiebreaker right here, Steve. Holy shit. Yeah, this is this, I can see where the struggle is, but man, how how you can sit there and read what Inktar said. Well, see, then, that's, see, I think that's, I think that's, uh, I think that's, that's uh, Dane rubbing some, uh, I know, rubbing right? some, uh, some uh, goodness on it because mm-hmm. I'm reading that and I am, I, I was sure I was Ashendare when we started this, but now I'm so pissed off because mm-hmm. that is probably some of the best shit in this fucking book. In right. This series. Well, Hold on, let, let me try and shade you a little more to my side of this argument then. When you see, when you read Ran putting his hand on Inktar's shoulder and bless him, right? And then he goes off and sacrifices himself. It's, it's so fucking epic. It's, uh, and you, you and I talked about this yesterday, I think. You know, this scene right here uh, is perhaps the most epic scene of any of the sub-characters in all the series. Arguably so. You can, you can obviously, yeah, but, differently. But. but but Matt made a Ashendari out of a bedpost. Mm-hmm. He's crafty. <laughs> <laughs> It's some cloth and the worst fucking most evil weapon on the planet. <laughs> and then Pat and Fane's yep. just like, oh shit, I don't want it anymore. I'm going to run away. And and now he doesn't get to go to the waste and he's not going to cut Kulin's head off. And... <sighs> Ah. 
All right, so you it's and I a, split the vote on that one. It's also a lightsaber. Well, it went up above 23 now, so hmm. it's close. I did not expect this to be this close. Holy shit. I know. The Ashendari is an object. Inktar is a man. That's true. Ooh, I like that. Oh, man. Matt, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, compared to being able to get out of the Tower of Genji to save Mo, compared to missing the Finn scene, compared to every goddamn Matt Gothen scene from the here on in. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I, I need a second. Be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. It, it's, I, I, I would agree there, Grifter. Um, he, he could definitely uh, really bring in some good home ec classes uh, to a ram land. No, I, was, I was just telling Grifter oh, that 24 Matt to 21. Uh oh. It's taken Matt, off now. Yeah, you know, come it's on, people. Off. Just because Matt's Matt passed home at class mm. doesn't mean I unplugged my earphones. I was like, what the hell? Why isn't Nate talking? <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I sat down and unplugged my headphones. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Uh we're yeah. professional. Yeah. Um, read my ooh. darn con damn con which one trip you haven't started. Stop talking. Hold on. <laughs> Gadfly says Ashendar is unessential for Matt's character. It's just something he has. The medallion and the memories are, are something else. So I think we know Gadfly voted for uh did you so Gadfly, did you vote for for uh for uh Oh god, I fucking forgot his Inktar, Jesus. <laughs> god fuck I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Jesus, uh, let's see here. And the heroes, the hero. Wait, which one is this? The one you want me to read, Trip? Oh, she. So, ser, so, Trip. Trip's main contestation is here. We go. I'll, the bracket is for worst moments, not for missing moments. <laughs> Seriously, this does not belong in the bracket at all. Man, me sitting there and waiting for a second before I vote really sent some people to the moon. Uh, and the heroes recognizing Matt wielding the evil Ashen, Ashen Dagger as one of them completely destroys the heroes not showing up for evil. Woo. It's really a toss-up. Yeah. Well, it's up five now, so... Inktar, 100%. 100% thumb. Oh, wait. Gonna weigh in. Matt's Ashendari isn't just an object. It symbolizes the complete destruction of the rest of his character arc. Ingtar is mainly terrible for omission. Ashendagger is an act of malice. Ooh. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> you told me to right. read it. Grrr. <laughs> Oh man, we we have the we have a swing. Oh, Chris has been convinced by Al Dan. I think Thumb Thumb had an excellent comment. I, I think this it is, is this is a gold star comment right here. Yeah, but I I I don't think it's I don't think Inktar's issue the issue with Inktar's part part is an um is a terrible omission. I think that's also act of malice. I mean, they had to make look, make him look like Princess Jasmine for an episode, and he you stood know. there. <laughs> yeah, he just, stood he, just there. <laughs> he just stood there like an obedient bitch. <laughs> uh, Matt, Matt is the most destroyed character right from the start. I think that's probably accurate. I, there, there's pretty good argument. I mean, yeah, it, right it, from the it, beginning, like like straight, like straight from where yeah. he is now. To where he started, I think probably hundred uh, percent. Yeah, yeah it, it, I, they they at least waited a scene or two before Matt stuck it in a Gwen with a strawberry. You mean Rand before, before Rand? Yeah, um, and then Perrin. Yeah, but that I mean, <sighs> look, that, does that I mean it's horrible. Like we all know, it's horrible. But they're yeah. boyfriend girlfriend, and they aged him up. So mm -hmm. I mean, that I don't think that's quite character destroying yet. 
No, unless you read the original script when he just absolutely well, well, ran, well, ran, ran finger him, ran up yes. with his elbow. I, I mean, <laughs> you know, he, he he just went full proctologist on her. So like he just straight up finger blasted her, didn't he? Oh my god! Seriously, it's like we're gonna hey, have man. to go over that script again someday. Just oh my god! Oh, it's man. I wonder if there's a season two one out there somewhere where uh, where fucking like. Alana gets a double ender out so she can fill all the holes or some shit. Ooh, and like... There we go, Gadfly. Oh, boy. They omitted him getting his redemption before dying like a complete chump, and in the process, they eliminated the whole idea of what the dragon is to the world. Well, the dragon is what Lanfear says the dragon is. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but, you know, Lanfear, you know, Lanfear, you know, she, she's got control of that D. Lyle mm-hmm. weighing in. Good to see you, Lyle. Uh, no, Rand is the most destroyed character. Uh, most- Rand is the most destroyed mostly because he is the centerpiece of the story, so his destruction ripples through the story more than anyone. I think that's... God, it's crazy that we can have a debate on who is the most destroyed. Mm-hmm. But I think in terms of if we're if we're talking about uh, Cameron's comment from his first entrance on screen to where he is now, Matt has never once been Matt. I don't think. And you can say the same for the other two. I guess you can. I mean, but... you know, pa- just... Perrin, Perrin has has not blacksmithed at all. It had to have been it was oh, his wife God. who was He's, the blacksmith. His first scene is fucking mooning over Egwene. He, oh, God. Yeah, he, he murdered his wife and And child. he mur- he's a double murderer. He's almost a yeah. serial. One more and he's a serial killer. <laughs> Does it take four? I think it's three. Wait, who? Oh, who's, the who, baby. Who, the bait. He's a fucking serial killer. Yeah. Holy shit. Perrin is a serial killer. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize that. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like on one of them bad crime shows. Well, it looks like we got a serial on our hands. <laughs> Perrin is a serial killer. Holy shit. <laughs> Jimmy's putting his vote in for men being the most destroyed. <laughs> That's there, like there, there's think, probably an argument for every single character being the most right. destroyed. You can sit there and say moron or or land. I, well, Nynaeve can't mm-hmm. heal shit and pushed an arrow with the fletching through through Elaine's leg, and she's a healer. <laughs> That's the central, her central freaking character is healing and helping people, saving the kids Mm -hmm. from this monster Moraine. Yeah, but Perrin Perrin stands around, no axe, no hammer, with his mouth open the entire time, cries over his wife, you know, practically all the time in the first season, you know. So so wait, is that what they're going with? Is because every time Perrin picks up an axe, he murders somebody? (laughs) That he, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, not, hold on. He's not. He's not gonna. He's not. <laughs> hold on. He's not gonna. He's not gonna fucking be able to pick up an axe. Yannan, he... Yannan, Yannan, we are not talking about Alana's holes that are the most destroyed. We're talking oh. about characters that are the most destroyed. Yeah, they're pretty destroyed. <laughs> Seriously, oh boy. Man. I mean, she probably looks pretty tired on the uh, below the waist. Yeah, she started using her ears. So that's how bad it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Mm. Oh, the, the dagger got another, or the uh, Turok got another uh, vote there. All right. So if you haven't Is that voted. 11? Oh, no, it's that? eight. Okay. Eight. Oh, I thought eight. it said 11 for a second. It's, 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 it's over. It, it would be, be tough. Be very tough. Yeah. We're almost to 40 votes, though. So that's awesome, guys. Yeah. Let's keep voting. So wow! That was, that was, wow! So 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 some people just didn't vote in this because it was so far. This this one's at forty five. Unless wow. people double voted, please don't double vote. Let's, let's keep I this on. I need to make up make some soccer accounts to get that level. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> 
Yeah, like it's it, I don't know, it, it's crazy. I think that land is land too. Yeah, so like I, I mean, like there there is an argument for every single fucking character. Moraine as well. I mean, like, like yeah, it, it, we could probably go on for days and, and have a, a video <laughs> series about which character. Well, actually, I mean, you know, Alex is pretty much already doing that over over on the White Cloaks one at a time. It takes him a minute to get him out, but I know he's got Perrin and Ishmael yeah. out. I think uh is there a third one out? I don't know. But I know I know he's got those two out just yeah. just because they're, they're they they don't reflect anything of their actual character. <laughs> but uh that's true. Julian yeah, they straight, and up, Hurin, they, they straight Hurin. up bail fired him in the writers' room. Her Hurin is the most destroyed because Hurin doesn't exist either. Right? They they nuked Hurin. Oh, do you guys remember Elias was in season two? I don't. Fuck. Good grief. Oh, like, seriously, man. like, I, I completely, like, completely forget he was in it. Like, mm -hmm. he's so forgettable. It's like, wow. Yeah, remember yep. Elias was in season two? Oh, really? Yep. Bill, Bill Dumont was in season two. Remember that? Yeah. We weren't just, yeah. we weren't just name, was... name dropping shit because we suck. Elias was Discount Hurin. Was he really? No. Yeah. He, well, he was ba he was basically the sniffer. Oh yeah, I guess he was, he was part, Discount you know? Hurin, and he was no good at it. Yeah, he sucked. He's like, Ugh, I followed the smoke, Ugh, and then got on parents' case for being <laughs> a wolf brother or something. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, true. David. Touche. You're, also you're not true. Wrong. Yeah, there is. There is definitely. Gall Gal got murdered straight up by freaking. Uh, oh God. Gall is dead. Oh, Gall is dead. Yeah. If I'll be right, if there's I'll be right a back. yeah, if a character named Gall shows up in season three, because all of us have. Pointed out with our eagle eyes that that was definitely what they were doing was was doing a freaking Easter egg of that being Gaul because he had the stone dog thing in there, right? What what like I, I'm pretty sure I saw an interview saying Gaul is supposed to show up in season three. So what what are we what are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> Like I, I don't, I don't. It's like, it's like now they're retconning their own bullshit. It's like, you know, Uno isn't Uno anymore. He's Guido Kane. Um, you know, you know, Gaul isn't dead. Perrin is, or Pern is a, a serial killer. Uh, Rand, uh, you know, doesn't know how to sword fight and does sword hand to get a, a you know, a, a heron. Uh. <laughs> Lanfear is praying to the light. <sighs> Lanfear is praying to the light. Oh my god. How how they're just gonna name a freaking Aiel Gaul and he's gonna walk into the screen and be like, Hi, I'm Gaul, and then he's gonna walk off. <laughs> like it uh, yeah, it's offend. It's a hundred per. Yes, it's incredibly offensive, and we all called it out immediately because we're actually fans of this, whether or not. Julian is a great character, absolutely. I, I like, and look, it's one of those things. It's like no wonder they didn't want Hearn around because one of Hearn's best scenes is freaking when he's sitting there talking to you know the the horns blown and he's sitting there like next to to Arthur Hawkwing and and like I think even ran to who I forget who it says he says he he doesn't have to you know be, be in the charge and her and jumps up on the saddle is like I would ne there's no way I'm missing this and then fucking Hawkwing looks at him and goes you may be joining our ranks in the future or some shit like that I mean god damn it like what a scene no, no, we got a bunch of choir boys that made a whole bunch of of smoke. 
and then we have a a bridge fight with 40 guys not even 40 20 guys for the heroes in the horn Senpui literally got killed except they changed his name to something like grumpy old man <laughs> did they really Elias is the villain from person of interest is he I mean I heard he was a good actor I, I you know They didn't really give him anything to do in this show except for say walk around and be like that's they're not your pack. They're not your pack. You need a new backpack. Yeah, that that is that's that is a really a self own, isn't it, Lyle? I still left that Rafe admitted, yeah, we didn't train Rand to sword fight, so let's just give him a kill on Turok with a one power, yep. Yeah, it, it's it's totally a hundred percent like just a complete self own that is like oh well you know it wouldn't make no it's like they, they say these things and they don't even think about it right it's like oh yeah well it wouldn't make sense for him to sword fight him right guys so he's got to kill him with the power it's like duh it's like did you hear what you just said I, it's like do, do you do you. Like, does somebody need to screen your phone calls, bro? Because what the fuck did you did you not just hear that? What came out of your mouth? Ugh. Yeah, for once it wasn't semen. Yeah, right. True. True. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, it, that's one of the, that's one of the big problems right now going on with TV shows. I feel like is is. Most of the characters aren't likable, and and you know what, I I spent a whole but like I spent some time because I was told that I should finish Three Body Problem, and I want those hours back <laughs> because I hate every character on the show, and I hope the aliens eat them. Spoiler: I never started it. Spoiler: I hope the aliens win. Even though the aliens uh, are annoying as fuck too, but you know, whatever. That's for another another stream. (laughs) I I will say, I found out that T-Mobile offers free Apple TV, Mm. not free, but you know, through the account. So I was able to sign up for that. So now I can watch Masters of the Air. So I'm there. You go. Very, very happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. And That's my siblings true. keep on bugging me about Ted Lasso, so I'll give that a go. And I may stop. Up to, Ted Lasso. First I've heard, uh, yes, you know, I've, I've heard that. Isn't there like eight seasons of Perfect Person of Interest, too? Is that That's the Jim Caviezel show, isn't it? Or it was? Yeah, I think so. Ted Lasso is fantastic. Season three is a little bit of a halfer. Like it's, it's missing something, season three. Is it season? Yeah. Three? It's five seasons? Okay. I think it's season, yeah. Ted, Ted Lasso season three was sort of a disappointment, but the rest of it is just gold. Yeah. And you can watch season one and two and, and not care about season three, honestly. Season two, mm-hmm. is, season one and two are fucking just gold standard. Yeah. Really See, good. And I got to get back into, well, I'm also watching Tokyo Vice. I got to get back into the one you love on HBO. Um, Banshee? Banshee. I got to, because I got through season one on that a while ago. I, but I need to jump back into that. So, um, man, Lyle coming in hard on that one. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I didn't find it so offensively bad. I just, I, 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 I was mostly bored and like, why <laughs> do I want any of these people to survive? I don't care. I, right. <laughs> <laughs> the super oogie boogie monster is on earth so it's all over but you know but uh didn't okay didn't they say that they would need to accelerate Rand's madness in the series can't wait for them to make him and matt him as mad as Logan and Egwene takes the lead yep that's probably about right right that's probably about right which by the way where's the madness if if they if they if they're accelerating it where is it? They, yeah. They don't even know. Oh. Yo, Grifter has an idea. We might be able to include some Banshee uh, in, a, in a fight autopsy. 
Banshee was a great show, and some fight scenes are done right brutally, as well as some super sexy. Well, mm-hmm. yes, they're badass. Mm-hmm. They're badass. Yep. Banshee cool. is amazing. If you have not seen Banshee, you are you are hitting yourself in the nuts. As I recall, the the main antagonist, his niece, was it? Was it his niece or his daughter that got involved with his niece? Yeah. Whew, man. Yeah, and she fixes that gap between her teeth for season two. Oh, does she? Oh, yeah. She she had some work done. God bless her. (laughs) Dude. Okay, should we should we get this going? She goes after Lucas Hood like a fucking goddamn. Woo! Mm. It's a good show. The oh Amish yeah, the niece. Amish niece. Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. I don't know why she. You know, she was on. Was she on? Was it Batwoman? She no. No, it was Gotham. The end of Gotham or something. She played Catwoman or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Gotham. I don't know. I don't know why she's not working. At least that, not anything I've seen. But I don't know. Could be because of the Me Too movement. She's not removing things from herself. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah. Well, here we are. Alrighty. On that note. <laughs> All right. Let's just speed on through this. Oh God. Death scene. Look how fast that was at real time. I mean. Jump cut, jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. Is that the one with the axe? No. No, no, no. The one with the axe is with freaking his weird uh, bodyguard guy, right? Yeah. Trying to think back to that fight. I don't know. Great show. Banshee. Banshee. Can't can't never say enough about that show. Okay, so we got this guy killing something. Rank. So... Are you asking me to rank, or are you ranking? Because that's probably the correct order. Mm-hmm. Even though I did enjoy now, Masters of the Air. Now, I have not seen all of Masters of the Air. I've only seen, I think, two, maybe three episodes. But Band of Brothers, I don't I, I don't see how you could beat that. It, it, it's just... It is one of the greatest episodes of TV, t- TV episodic shows of all time, period. Which one? What, which one? Band of Brothers. Oh, it, it, yeah, it, yeah. That, so, yeah, Band of Brothers, Pacific, Masters of the Air. I think that's that's yeah. fair. I, 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 and I sort of, I, I, I'm sort of like right. I, I don't know because I'm, I'm sort of there with Salty. I haven't watched Pacific in a long time, but mm-hmm. it, it was not. I did not find it nearly as good as Band of Brothers. Now, I don't know if I'm as distant as he is between the two, but um, because some of the stuff in Master of the Air was was not the greatest for me. So <laughs> most of it was great, but like there was some some bits and it was just like I just not interested in that. Um, but there was some of that in, in, in Pacific too, so I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right right now I'd put it back, Band of Brothers far out ahead. Yeah. And it, then the other two could be interchangeable. I would like, loosely probably put Pacific barely in front of Masters of the Air right now. Yeah. But that's with not me not seeing the Pacific in a long time. Like for, for me, Pacific was there there was just there was too much that um there there wasn't enough camaraderie that engaged me with the the people in the in the show. Like while I still was engaged, it was it just didn't have that same thing as Band of Brothers did, where you were following the same group of guys through the entire thing. And that part of that is just the nature of that war. Um, yeah. You know, it, that 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 uh, arena of war. It was just that chaotic and hectic and and all that. But, yeah. you know. Um, so Band of Brothers versus Saving Private Ryan, I'd Band of Brothers still. 100%. Yeah. Um, I've got problems with Saving Private Ryan, to be honest. Um, I enjoy, I, I still I enjoy it, but it's, it was it was good. Um, the the knife scene was brutal, a little bit too much tough, for me. Yeah. It's a tough scene, yeah. Um, 
And then the very end when he asks her, you know, if, if he's a good man and, you know, and, and, and the Tom Hanks character saying, earn this. And it's like, he's in fucking war, dude. What do you mean earn this? Shut the fuck up. It pissed me off. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. So, asshole. well, yeah. You know. <laughs> So I mean it. So, but yeah, I I enjoy both of them. But uh, Band of Brothers is is something else. Yeah, I, I appreciate the realism of Saving Private Ryan and how that opened the door for a more realistic um, portrayal of of uh, war in movies. So, yeah, for sure. Where where are we? So we're right after hell. Ingtar. We are in hell, brother. We're, we're right after Ingtar has bought yep. the, the farm, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So you got this guy. Uh, this might be Bornald because it looks like he's swinging an axe at somebody. But yeah, it looks like it. Um, they don't even know what the madness is. Yeah. There's no, there's no sidine. There's no madness. Men are just pigs. Lamphere said so. So there's Sean Chan hitting the, going the other way. Then you've got. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Nick oh god, I forgot. The they fucking yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This was special. Yeah. Um, this was this was before the arrow. Um. <laughs> pre arrow yes is there a I fight scene stay. with this or is this no is this well i think how stupid this is okay yeah, so. I, I may have missed it in clipping it out <laughs> it's, e- it's either that or i just wanted to stare at elaine's chest i don't know yeah there you go oh <laughs> one can um, be forgiven for that okay so can. what the fuck just happened there all right so again so you remember last time we saw that one guy run up and body check perrin who was weaponless and the guy didn't just run him through with the sword. Yeah. So why is this guy hugging him from behind when he's when you can see his sword? Is it? It's not right, in him. It's not right in the there. white cloak. Yeah, no. but is it in the white cloak. It's no, to look the at side that, of the angle. Him? It looks like it's coming from the side. Yeah. See. Yeah. <laughs> why would you just? Not, oh, he's gonna swing it around him. Okay. Now. Is he going to slash his throat? Is that blood coming up? What? How did that happen? What the maybe hell? His battle, maybe? It wasn't no, it, that just fight. happened. That just appeared. 409, so we'll I, come back. You should be able to hit a back button or something and go back. So here he comes. No, he's Grabs got blood on him right there. It's just a bad angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, there's blood that. there. I mean, it's more more egregious that the Sean Chan guy running from behind him instead of running him through with the again. How many times has that happened in these two? That somebody has had somebody dead to rights and they just don't do the thing, right? They just like they yeah. it's like oh, instead of just shoving my whatever the. F- Look at the fucking look, look at the sword. Like god damn, is. man, do you want people to just die in agony? Like how like it's a practice sword or something. Like what the fuck is it? Good it's not grief. even like it, you didn't even put a pretend edge on it or is that the back of it? I don't know. But I mean, I guess he's about to slit his throat, but I mean Right? I don't. Now, it doesn't look like it's any sharper on the other side. I mean, fuck. It doesn't. But now here's the real question: Are we actually going to see something happen here, or is it going to jump cut? Oh man, it's going to jump cut, isn't it? For sure, probably. So you get that dude. Wait, what the fuck just that, happened? That there? was that. That was a jump cut. Look at that guy's mouth. <laughs> it's the same guy. I know it is, but what but they did just, he throw it? He still got he still got his arm around him. What in fuck is happening? This cinematography sucks so bad. And why aren't the white cloaks wearing white cloaks? That's a great great question. Because why would white cloaks mm-hmm. wear white cloaks? Up oh, there's blood there, so they actually sort of did something. That with looks it. so fake. 
It does. <laughs> that looks so fake. So did he kill him? I'm I'm guessing he did. But see, it's funny because they leave the trail here, but there's nothing on his body. <laughs> At least CGI it for to, to be. It's so bad. What the fuck was that? It's like let's put some let's look let's use generic blood art three. <laughs> it's like okay. Good grief. Oh. I mean, this is so stupidly chaotic. Like, uh... You know what? If there's a battle going on around you, get the fuck out of there, please. I mean, oh, they honestly, cuddling in the street. Oh yeah, you 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 are. If anything, so you're not protecting these girls by holding them in front of you in a bat in the middle of a battle. You would be standing with your back to the battle, covering them. Am I not mistaken there? Because that's what I, I, I would do. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and I I know. You're not, but visually, would it not be more visually appealing and in, in, in to to have white cloaks wearing white cloaks as a visual medium? I argue yes. So are they cloaks are fucking cool? This? So what's that? Like they're not even in the middle of all this battle. I mean, this is, <laughs> here, here goes a white cloak horse. What's up, Jacob? Oh, oh my god, one of the horses made it in the city. Holy shit. Yeah. Miracle. Dragging a white cloak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it would have been interesting to see how that happened, right? Yeah. How did he get knocked off his horse? He's no. like, oh, he's just dead. The only horse that made it in the walls, right? Oh. And like, oh my god. How did they the just fuck? stand there? Is this where she gets? Is she gonna get? Is this? Are we gonna get to see the arrow? Look at all this. Okay, I, I, I'm amazed. I forgot to cut all this out. Look at all this. I haven't. I'm. I mean, oh, the, <laughs> oh my God! It's the trebuchet. <laughs> the cloud is still out there. Are those kids still going to work or what? The cloud is. Oh, good lord! <laughs> it's still out there. How is what it the still... hell are in those brazers? <laughs> okay, so we're at the 431 mark. I've got oh, to do it. God. Sorry, I got... I'm, uh, are oh, you going back get, to the clouds? I've got to get back to the gate. Um, the portcullis? Poor Pete, the portcullis? Yeah, a after they get into the gate. Because look, I don't see any fog right here. True. But the wind, the wind, Nate. Oh, wait, there was some. Yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit out there still. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah. I did that. <laughs> the wind. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, God. How did the fog get in the town, by the way? <laughs> I don't I don't even think that was. Uh, to, to the tower so we can get shot by the trebuchet. Yes. The trebuchets are currently working on the tower for some reason. They're not <laughs> trying to. They're not. They're, they're trying. The trebuchets are trying to hit people off the towers. They are not trying to destroy the tower. They are just trying to hit people with rocks. <laughs> what are you looking for? Um, are we really? I, I could. The past? I, I thought the fog had disappeared as they went through the gate. I was incorrect. So what? Where were we at? Four thirty-one. Yeah, I think you said 431. Okay. I mean, the fog was never really there at the gate, but, I mean, it's pretty thick, man, right. around those trebuchets. Right. <laughs> and, and it looks like it's, I mean, fuck. Like, the fact that it's there at all is just, you got to be so, fucking kidding me. So the trebuchets aren't back at the camp, but either way, one, where, how where, did they get there? Where are the Sean Chin, um, the... the uh, yeah, they're casters. Um, the Demone? Where are the Demone yeah. at? Yeah. I mean, I know they're up there, but since we know that... that, that God Moral... damn, look at the range on that trebuchet. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Yeah. Not but only it... does it make it there, it pinpoint hits a bunch of Demone off the... Holy fuck me. Yeah. What? So, 
But we know that Moron can hit this tower with her fire dragon from 10 miles away. Oh, geez. So, so why aren't Damane up on the on the ridges here just setting these... All you have to do is go, and and those are done. They're made of wood. Why, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't they just launch their rocks into the ocean behind and sink their boats? Yeah. If the trebuchets can shoot that far... Jesus by the, Christ. I'm almost convinced they keep on moving the tower, by the way. <laughs> they, probably, they probably do. Like, are there missiles they're launching? Like, I don't understand. Right, because we're supposed to have the ocean on this side, right? Yeah. And the ocean's really close to that tower. Yeah. So it might be on the other side of the ridge here, maybe. But that that's not the impression that I get from everything. But then again... What the hell do I know? Because so, they've, never, they've never been able to paint a clear the trebuchet's picture. Trebuchet's range vastly exceeds that of standard catapults. It's been estimated that certain trebuchets were able to launch 130 pounds projectiles more than 100, and, or, I'm sorry, 1,150 feet, about 350 meters. That so you're telling be. me that that's under 100? That There's no fucking way. No, that's actually over 1,000. The, oh, by far. I don't even think yeah. it's close. Like, look how far away it is. Like, yeah. I mean, to the uh, gate, they're prob they're probably about three hundred. And if they're, it's they're probably if about it's, if it's thirty making, meters from the gate, yeah, they're yeah, they're probably made probably able to hit the wall effectively. I mean, look. I'm just look at the fucking. Per it's there's no way. Yeah, they're, they're not heavy duty trebuchets. No. No, they, they are definitely something that was put together from an erector set that Rafe had when he was yes. a kid. 20 per, at 20%. 100%. 20%. <laughs> 20% of 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Just, you work 20% of the time. Just looking, at the, looking at the distance here, it's just like, whoa, man. What the hell are we doing? Yeah. This is so bad. It's 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 crazy. So, yeah, so... Let's let's see how this far. Let's see if it cuts before we see how far this one goes. Wait, oh, I thought it launched the rock before. Oh, oh okay, it's directly. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man, oh. is this is this it? <laughs> this is it. This is it. So that rock that it just launched from that middle trebuchet is the one that hits the tower. We get woman that ha or person or whatever it is that talks too much in this show already. Yes. Talking. Yeah, like in Ghostbusters, the the line would have been, "Yes, it's true. This chick has a dick." Um. Good grief! Look, did you see the size of that blade? Look at look at her fucking face. Oh god. You're a big meanie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is oh that's mean. Oh my god. It's mean. Uh, it, they, I just, I, it's, I, I, I don't us. think it's, I don't think they don't deserve it. But oh my god, oh, wow, my goodness, yes, it's okay, Yanan. Just seeing, just seeing, it just it makes me angry. <laughs> just, just this whole, this whole deal, just seeing it make it's the, it's, uh, man, another Jesus <laughs> Christ, Good grief. saved by the trivia. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, okay, look at that blade. I, I, I rewound it a, little, a minute. Let me. Why did she not throw her over the tower already? Or why isn't she sitting right. there in excruciating pain or something or, that like or actual happens her to with jump an over Adam. the tower? Because that's like you know stuff safe. that actually happens with Adams. You know anything? No. Oh okay. man. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh, More shit in the yeah. air, so we can't see what's going on. More. Yeah. 
I mean, look, it's right on the beach. Look at... Yeah. There's no way that trebuchet hit that fucking tower. So, and see the water over here? So Where unless are those that chips cuts, at? They're out here somewhere. Or out here somewhere. Right? I mean, that's the thing. Like, Moron's gonna be way down here. She's gotta be way down there. That means the trebuchets had to have been out here. Which means I think the tower moved out again from where it was because it looked like it was more kind of upward uh, in the previous shot. Oh God. <laughs> this, the, uh... I can't. I, I just. I can't even, man. Holy <laughs> shit. I love how they got like the little outposts on the tower. Yeah, right. Like, Is like, that hey, for jumping stop, off? Here, stop here if you need a rest. <laughs> like like Peter Venkman's like, are we at the twenty fourth floor yet? <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. This show wants to make me throw up. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, so there goes the little trebuchet thing. Oh, they got more coming around. Where does that that one hit? Nope. It just disappeared. Yeah, it did. See, it didn't that, even come. It didn't, it even, didn't come even come through. through. I was waiting to see where it came through. It didn't even come through. Man, it ran out of money for a CGI. What what happened there? Uh, yeah, we couldn't put a pebble on the other side. We, of the I tower. mean, what the fuck? It just didn't. Sh like the speed, the speed of that should have. You should have seen it. Are we expect? Um, well, are we supposed passing to, by the other side of the tower? Are we supposed to believe that it hit the tower? No, because like, it looks it. like it's, it's right short. Right? It oh, looks it's, like it, it looks. It should. Yeah, it should. Right where your arrow went. It should just go. Wait, watch the arc on it. Yeah, it should go right yeah. there. Its trajectory should have it come out about here. Yep. Right. Yep. Because that's yeah. here it comes. Unless it's tracking more towards us, but in that case, you know, and then we go. So and there's no poof from the tower yep. like it hit it. Yep. Like Kaiser and... Soze, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> What a joke. What a joke. What was that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Switch your point. It's under um uh... oh. That would be great, Chris. Hits the tower because the tower fall, Egwene dies, show ends. That would be fantastic. The sun switched sides on the tower from the previous scene. Oh shit, did it? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, Man, there was wait. a second stone. Yeah, so yeah, there was two. One hit the top of the tower yep. and one just disappears into thin air. Like it just it just disappears. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. As Nathan so eloquently put. Rachel says hi. Hi, Rachel. He says hi back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So all right, so so the sun changes its position. And we want to go back and look at the stone. So here's the stone. So hopefully, hopefully How that's coming. How the sun changes position though? Just the shadows. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, okay, so the shadows here on this side. So we'll get. We'll, we can go back here. So this is the stone falling from the top of the tower after it destroyed Hits. it. We just destroy it. Kills everybody. There's, yeah. there's a puff of smoke coming from on the top of the tower where it went through. Um. You know, so there's that. This is also another stone. That one's inconsequential. This one is going to go here, go behind the tower, and disappear. Where did the, wait, where did the other one go? The third one. Like, it's going third, third out of right the here. fucking atmosphere. It's right here. <laughs> it just... <laughs> did you see it? So... I saw it, but it's just like, what? Like, what? Right. But it's funny, so you, you only see these three, which are the only three you ever see launched from the trebuchets. So they were aiming for the tower that everybody, all the white cloaks are going to. Ugh. I still you know. can't believe the rock. And it bloop, disappears. Ugh. Okay, so now... 
Okay, so let's come back here to the... Yep, he's right. Yeah. Shadow's over on this side of the tower now. And it should be on the opposite end of the tower, according to the later scene. The angle of this attack is also wrong. That tower... <sighs> Okay, they so now we're... they just plopped three trebuchets yeah. down and said, "Throw rocks at it," and then forgot to finish the fr <laughs> like. It's like yeah. you forgot to finish the CGI. What the fuck? So I'm only seeing the top doors of the tower here. So the, the distance, the I think. Shrunk. Or it's, no, well, the tower like it's a hill, right? The, yeah. The, yeah, there's a hill. Yeah. It still looks a bit too large to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I, I don't think I don't think they got the scaling right on it, um, because that looks pretty damn wide. So yeah. that when we get to the later spot here, <sighs> oh fuck, we gotta look at this ugly face again. There's no way those rocks hit that tower. None. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Or, I don't know. I'm not too hung up on the sun thing, but I mean, no, I'm not the, either. The rock, the rocks is is like look at the look at the trajectory of those two rocks. No, not hitting. Yeah, it. not hitting it. And you're just throwing rocks nilly willy nilly See, into a, a city and, full and, of pedestrians. And here's the other thing: they're right here, right next to the tower. That is not tall enough. For the tower that we see after it gets hit, yeah, it doesn't seem like it, does it? No, because this it, door's here, you know, right? The door, the next level, and then where they're at, and then we get to the trebuchets. See, so this is all that she was seeing from the tower, and she was right next to it. So. But, but you see, so it's this wide. So basically one, two, three and a half of my mouse pointers wide from this distance. Right. And then once we get past ugly face Egwene here in a second. Uh, man, that hit such a small piece. It's so dumb. It took out no. everybody. It, 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 this gets worse and worse. The Dem Are the Demone sitting there dead while they're fighting Ishii too? Or are they just uh, yeah, it, it, it killed every single one of them. Yeah. So are they laying there while uh, they're fighting them or no? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out in a How couple How convenient weeks, that it didn't kill them too, but it killed everybody okay. else. So a rock the size that it flung. Wait a second. That might, that might be about right. Okay. Oh, wait a second. But it hits. It, it comes hits through their... here. How is it hitting the back of the demone? Well, the wait are the demone? Wait, you, you. So the trebuchets are out here, and it hits this way. I'm assuming they they use the wrong camera angles, because if I'm going to sit there and try and track the projection of where it came from, I would actually reverse it to the other side. Of the well, yeah, but the still, like, like so, it goes that goes across and kills all the demonic, right? Like, that's still behind them. They're yes. they're facing into the city. Yes. So how does it hit sort, them from behind? Sort of facing into the city, right? I mean, it. They, they they've 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 it's, staged each things completely separately as its own standalone scene, and they haven't tracked themselves on where they they stage everything. So everything is out of place. So it comes through here now. So it skipped. Did you see that? I didn't. It went between them and hit on the other side of them. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Well, yeah, it has to because the wall's in one piece. Right. But I mean, this is wait. The, we're we're to believe that the trebuchet shot and landed in between them, right? And 
the sun's over here now, which means that it's it did switch sides. <laughs> I I, just, I can't. Put, I'm I'm still hung up on the fact that that we're supposed to think that it's gonna go just between them and kill everybody yeah. else, but not them. Right. Well, and if it goes between them, who's who's it gonna kill over here? Yeah, there's nobody there. Not no no one. Get past this. You're so brave. Oh. Okay, so boom. It comes through that and skips. And here it is. It's this big piece here. It's going to come between the two of them and hit over here. You have to be fucking with me. I can't I... believe it. I can't fucking believe it. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't believe it. I, I oh. can't believe it. It's even more. Oh, my. It, oh, my God. So wait, yeah. it bounced off the top of the wall and then landed well, there? It basically went through it but skipped somehow. Or it shuttered it shattered a piece of the wall between them. And this is apparently what causes everybody to die. Because now because it jump cuts and it's between them again. That is a lot closer than where it hit in the in, in the previous cut. And she gets thrown. And there's a whole lot of dust there now all of a sudden. <laughs> well, yeah, everything blew up. Or is that the second rock? It has no, to be second a second rock. rock. Was, second rock wasn't high enough. But but like so but the first one didn't blow up everybody. It had to be a second one, right? No, because because that's not until later. <clears throat> right? Yeah, so this is just one rock that does all this damage from just hitting pretty much the wall at the top of the tower. And it knocks everybody all the fuck over. Uh, it knocked over one of those pillars. Like so so the whole the whole thing above them <laughs> is gone. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! And then there, go, now, there goes that stone. So it skipped, like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> It's like I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, like the the white the white cloaks are sitting there. Watch me skip this one off the top of the tower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like oh, twenty dollars. Yep, you got it. And so it hits it hits that, and those the, the, those stones from that tower just kind of tip over, even though they're being hit with something with extreme force. They just kind of go. <laughs> Why not just have the whole tower fall down? Oh wait, we have to have our sky battle up there. Yeah, that shit goes Oof. flying. So here are the other two stones on their way, and here's the one that just skipped over and is falling down. And the sun's over here, or the shadows over here now, even though we are clearly seeing the sun reflecting over between Egwene and and Rena up here. By the way, it looks like the dome is still up there. It should not be. <laughs> yeah. They, they just... <laughs> and then this brainstone. Oh my god! And now they're and now they're all just standing there. Why are you all just standing around? They're 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 waiting for the the brunch. <sighs> oh, excuse me. They're waiting for the free white cloak brunch for freeing Sean Chan. Yeah, freeing uh, Falme from the Shanshan. All this walking, thump, thump, thump. You, you know what would have been great if you kept your horses, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some would call that an advantage. Yes, yes. What is it? Why? What? Why are people running after them? I don't. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Some Sean Chan. All right, finally, a fight. <laughs> Aside from the one guy that got, got his neck sliced by a Sean Chan who should have just stabbed him through the back. Good grief. We've gone almost a minute. 
we're over five minutes on this now. Yeah, there's a lot of skipping around. Yeah, <laughs> well, the, the, there's been yeah a whole lot of just. Oh wait, so what happened here? This guy, wait, what the fuck just happened there? Okay, well, the guy like they come running in. He's yep. swinging. Did he, did he just stop his swing? Did that show? No, I think just... he, no, he hit him in the face. I think. No, 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 no. Did the Sean Chain stop his swing? Swing because he had his arm up. Oh well, yeah. He just he stopped and ran into him. Yeah, like he went into him just to get hit in the face. Right. Okay. So this guy here is going after Jeffrey. Uh, this guy's going after Dane. So Dane is now just starting to get himself ready to swing his axe. That's a bit too late, Jeffrem. Sorry. Uh. Or maybe oh, or he's looking to jam it at the guy. So I think he got hit him. Maybe. Okay, so here's this guy holding up his. Practice sword up it's here. Thing, whatever it is. Yeah, and then Dane is the, getting there. He's gonna swing away. And oh wait, nope, that's just the light or the torch. Okay. okay. Oh, because his sword's down here. So, but he still just ran into him. Like, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Hey, why don't you swing here? I'll give you a free shot. Just don't don't forget they're on the boat, right? They put them all on the boat. Oh, that's right. Yes. But the six that's... on the tower, there were six on the tower or something like that, which still could have routed them easily. But you know. And here's Jeff from getting a nice axe swing in there, which bounces right off the guy. But they're going to put in the CGI blood. So that the Koopa Troopa falls over dead. Hang on, where are the white cloaks that were? Yeah, where's the whole regiment at? <laughs> there was a red. They, they were all snooping down the street together. Where'd they go? Oh my! They're in the same Again. place the horses are, apparently. Yeah, yeah, and the, which is the same place that uh, Masima disappeared to. Well, a, a, a few, a few people. I don't know. They're like. There was at least ten soldiers. Uh, most most of them are still outside the city. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, what's up, Brian? What's up, man? All right. So he's still, even though he's killed one guy already, who is apparently not getting in the way of this guy, or it's just the same guy, <laughs> and they just reusing footage. Which I think like, that's wasn't Valda did. just next to them? Is he there just he being is. a pussy? Is that There's what's going Valda. on? Yeah, Valda was on the was to Dane's left earlier, and actually had his weird looking pauldron on the other side of his on his left. <laughs> did his, his pauldron teleport him? I believe so. Nice, he did. Wonderful. Oh, more fake blood. Yep. I, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing hand axe. I hope there's one. That'd be kind of funny. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So they're just waiting he, at the door. Look at them. Look yeah, at them all. <laughs> they're just standing there. <laughs> I mean, I understand like swinging axes and everything. I wouldn't want to necessarily go through. They're just they're just standing but, there going, "Let's watch the old man and son work." Right. Our fearless leaders, let's let them take one for the team. Um so the these apparently these guys have taken hits, but apparently they're the only they, they keep on respawning because there's obviously no body in front of them. They they just keep reusing the same footage on these two guys. Oh my god. Yeah. And then there's them and Valda standing there in the hallway like a creeper. Yeah, it is because that axe bounced off that guy's chest. 
just like it did in the earlier cut. This is so, yeah, true. It's the same Gavly. guy. This is true, Gadfly. He, he was a lot of things, but uh, definitely not a coward. Agreed. Yep. So they just reused the footage of the two guys they killed. So they looks like they killed them twice. Now they can move forward now the doorway so the rest of their troops can get in. This guy comes in actually swinging his sword, but sort of doing it in a way where he's not extending and getting actual proper use of it. Um, yeah. That, yeah. That is, that's also Little. right. You, you, everybody see the show forgets that uh, Evan Valda is a accomplished blade master, but uh -huh. you know why? Why you know blade masters are so few? Why why give them any renown in the show? You know exactly. They just have to you know do sword hand. If they can do sword hand, they can be a blade master. I know it, it's <laughs> it must be really difficult to pull off. Oh boy! So difficult that only three times did you see Sword Hand in the first seven episodes. Yeah, right. But by the time you get to episode eight, you see it another three times at least. Actually, we'll at least see it four times because Rand does it. But we've seen it three times already so far. I, well, I think I think Valda could be top five. I mean, how many Blade Masters do we see in the series? Not many. To yeah. be given the rank of Blade Master, you're 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 up there. So, you know, I, I love it. He's still going at it. These guys are seriously standing still. Vald is like, did anybody make some popcorn? We could, we, we could use it with some, eat it with some, uh, uh, like fresh chicken with beak still on it and all that from the, when he first ate. Uh, his first appearance in the show. Oh, man. I hate these jump cuts. They fucking suck. It's it's terrible. And, and it's totally Jeez. transparent. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, Nerporo, he does have a hair and mark blade. Hold on, I got, I got to see. So, Valda's face, you can kind of see it here. He's kind of goofy looking there, like just looking at it. I think you get a better look at his face here. So, he's right there. Okay. He's just like, he's just smiling. <laughs> he's acting like a better Pat and Fane than Pat and Fane, I guess. <laughs> he's right? <sighs> Look how far away they are. Like now, now they've come out of the doorway. These guys should be going around and spreading out and taking on the enemy. At least that guy's finally drawn his sword. <laughs> yeah. Against two, the the cloud monster. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, um. <laughs> it's um. Shatter Logoth, the uh, <laughs> the mist in, or the yeah the the mist and Shatter Logoth. But I'm trying. I'm drawing a blank on this. Um, what Mashadar? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay. Jeffrem. Now at least there's finally a dead guy on the ground here. I, I yeah. Jeff from getting in a big old swing on that guy. Man. Did he cut him in twine? No, nope, he missed. No, but there's no there's there yes, this is true. Oh, there's missed, fake blood. <laughs> but there's fake blood to make you think he hit him. So <clears throat> one, if he hit him and there's blood coming out oh. of his shoulder at the at the his, neck join. His arm should be off. Should, big, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if he hit him with this that full swing. Yeah. That axe, his arm should not be attached to his body anymore. And, and that I could see, because the, the weight of that axe looks like it should be heavy enough to sit there and take somebody's arm off, right? It should yeah. be like Fezzik from Princess Bride, just tearing it off. Um, but he completely imbalances himself. Look at his footwork here. That's shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's, it's like, it looks like he's trying to hold it in. He, he's got to pee real bad. <laughs> and they're just standing there. They're like, <laughs> weren't there more troops coming in to fight them? And they, they get done with two guys each, and then they're just kind of like... <sighs> they're gone. Like, it, that, was, that wasn't even much of a fight. It was just basically, like, swinging. Like, there was nothing really there. Oh, there's... Oh, it, was that another trebuchet? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, who knows? It's It's something. There's Koopa Troopa again. Mm hmm. Oh, peasants falling down. Wait, is that rocks? The trebuchets are at it again? Is that I, what this I, is? That's the thing, is like you don't know. It, it, it's. It, it could. Maybe it's debris coming down from the tower since they are that close to the tower now. <clears throat> yeah. And they're all just kind of standing there like, oh, look at that. <laughs> like, they, they are not even participating in the chaos. No. Like, no. There's no look about them that would be like, man, what do we do? We're at, you know. Man. And the tower, once again. Yeah. At least they got some smoke up there now. I don't know what smoke's doing over here, but there's some smoke up there. They they really did shaft ninety hard. Oh, here we go. There's it's a white cloak, white cloak. Up there. Where did the white cloak crossbowmen get on the wall at? Right. If they've taken the wall, they've taken the city. Like, oh, he's he's about to shoot. Uh, isn't he about to? He's about to shoot her. Oh God. Is he? She gets, yeah. Yep. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a shot from that distance. God damn it. <laughs> damn. He's got 10 point accuracy. Look at that. That's a solid bolt right into the jugular. Yeah, that is a <clears> one hell damn. of a shot. So is Nike yeah. writhing in pain right now on the ground? Should be. But that would, you know be too accurate fake and then blood. the fake cgi blood they changed they changed the arrow it looks like it they didn't. changed the arrow <laughs> they changed the arrow yeah there's those hold are white on, cloaks dude, up there here we go Boing. Okay, so it hits See, her. Look, it, yeah, look, it's, it it's go, the, that looks like the end, right? Or is this the end of it? It's it's, it's yes. They put two arrows in her. They CGI'd another arrow in for after. So they remove the one that went into her neck and replace it with that one. Oh, it was a blood spurt. That's what that no, was. No, no, just wait. But but that but hold on go back, it is a blood spurt but it's a different look at the angle of the arrow though, yeah. So right go here. go back go back though go back no no they yeah. they, they fucked up it, it's it's fucking bullshit CGI look so watch. <clears throat> oh, they actually so look they actually did the bolt. It's funny because he shot it and then quickly moved away. Rather than watching where his shot went. Yeah. Okay. There's the bolt. No. So it shoots the bolt. Okay. So right. So there. Okay. So there's. The, so you can see the shaft of the arrow right there. Yeah. Or the bolt. So go, can you go one forward? Is that is that rather large for a bolt? I don't know. I I think crossbow bolts are, are rather are, 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 are they, bigger. Are, are they pretty thick? They I got think some that's pretty standard. Them. I think. Because they're supposed to be armor piercing. Okay. Okay. I, so so they they got some girth. 
Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think so. Ladies. But you can see that. So now. So like, it looks you see like. The, sh the shaft, right? Yeah, right where your arrow it is. It looks like it's tucking under but, her but chin. But also, that's not blood. There's a little hole coming out of the blood spurt. That's the other. That's the bolt. Well, this? Yes. That, that That's the blood. But that, that little circle right there is not the bolt. That right there. That's yeah. the bolt. Right. And then when the blood spurts out, they CGI out the bolt and replace it with the fucking feathered arrow. Fucking shit. Yeah, because right now it looks like what she's done is she's she's holding the arrow underneath her chin. Yes. As like a placeholder. It sure <laughs> looks that way. Man, these guys suck at their job. Okay. So there's all the blood. We I should see, see an arrow. Yeah, like it should be right like this, right? It yeah. should be here. And now we see it and so I think I think we kind of saw a shade of it, but it's just so bad. It's so poorly done. There shouldn't be a reason for us not to see it, especially when it's as big around as it is. God, this show sucks so bad. <laughs> and, and she's just like, damn it. And she, she get a buzzing is... in her ear or something? Like, what is that supposed to... And there you go. That's a different... That, that is not... That's huge. A different arrow again. <laughs> Right? Am I wrong? Am I going crazy? No, it, it's it's one of those things like they like in the in the motion for her getting hit, they CGI'd a thinner piece in place. Yeah, you like know. I'm not taking crazy pills here, right? Like this is the, the, these are different. Mm. And by the way, I think I think you're right. Like that that blood spurt was immediate. And it's hit, and it shouldn't be. It should not be coming out that fast. It sh there should be a hit, and then it comes out. But hey, a that's full what hit. I do, you know. That's what I do, man. I'm a gaslighter. What can I say? Yes, yeah, he definitely is. He's a he's a punk. I am. Let's see here. All right, so she's dead, and I bet you we're not going to get too much of a reaction out of the, the the two wonder twins here well soon when when she's got a fucking arrow in her leg i mean look at oh her. she felt like, oh she's like oh my neck hurts now it's like dude bitch you should be on the ground dying right <laughs> like oh did i shave would a bolt that that's an interesting question would a bolt that size take your head off i don't know yeah, it seemed to be i think it would probably go through her neck at that speed, probably. Because crossbows, I mean, really... the boat will go through her. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I would uh, hitting that soft spot right there. Not much in yeah. the way, and maybe if it hit right. her spine, it might stop. Maybe. Right, but the spine is bad. Yeah. See. Right. Yeah, right. That, yeah. That, Just like you know, that... they're made to punch through fucking metal armor. So like, yeah, you hit you right on the skin. They're gonna go. They're gonna tear you up. Yeah, she's certainly not going to be able to sing afterwards. Well, yeah, or or do this and be like, "Ow, I yeah. cut myself shaving." <laughs> That's right. annoying. And that hit me. Here's some shit. <laughs> it's like, fuck like, you. Like, look at this. Like she and she's holding her ear. The bitch got shot in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your ear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, and she stated there's more of a reaction from Elaine. Oh, man. Look she's at acting, her. She, she's acting dizzy. Oh, my God. Nynaeve the healer. Jesus, where are the, the wisdom. fucking awards for this show? Holy shit. The arrow changed again. No, it didn't change again. No, it's still it the second change. one. <laughs> okay. No. Jesus. Oh, but, God. you know, at, at least they got the hanger clasp. How strong, Bido? How strong? How strong is oh, her neck? Man. Oh my goodness gracious! God, the lingering shots on the women. What is I, 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 ring honestly, for? What is it, why does she have the fucking ugly ass ring on for? 
because of the show. Okay. I mean, seriously. But have you noticed, like, that w- when it comes to the men fighting, it's all these quick jump cuts. Boom, 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 boom. And then it's lingering, panning shot on the women as they walk through, leisurely through the battle scene, like nothing's bothering them. Yeah. I don't know what she, this is supposed to be, like. Uh, yeah, it was just the bracelet falling off. Okay, look at they, that. They have literally taken fall me. And oh, here it comes. Yep. Uh, Which one shot at her? I don't know. One of the two. Why did they shoot at her? Right. Well, What's because the they were probably fall- aiming for Ninkum Poop. Wait, wait, wait. Who is the person that fell down behind her? Hold on. Go back a frame. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? What's look at those shoes. shoes. What is <laughs> with these shoes? <laughs> What is with the fucking just your clown shoes? What the, the, is the going bracelet, on? The bracelet fell off. I have to go back to Santa's workshop now. Oh my god. <laughs> Santa will be so angry. I've gotta make I've gotta go make toy trains for all the good boys and girls. What's up, Shatterhorn? Good for you, Grace us with your presence, sir. So wa- oh, watch here. Gosh. Watch. Somebody falls down behind Egwene or Elaine. What's up, Nick? Good to see you. The man who hits like a <laughs> Alright. So which one so one of these guys just decides to shoot a, a a civilian. Okay. That guy. What an asshole. Okay. And oh see watch. You see the guy they shot him too. Wait, what did you see he falls over? He's got oh, no, he's, oh wait, no, he's, there he is. Okay. He's, he's... <laughs> okay. At least he's still there. I thought he just fell over. Oh no, we shot Elaine. Right in the frickin' thigh. Oh man. And and here we go with the wonderful acting ability of Ninkum Poop. Oh my god, there's an arrow in my leg. What should I do? Well, push it through there. <laughs> yes. Take off her bodice. It won't hurt. <laughs> oh, it, oh no. It's Twirly Boy. Oh, man. Did, did we... Yeah, we we did get through that where you got the, the staff. Okay. I, I wish you played soccer. That would be wonderful to watch. I'd watch it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It'd be better than watching our current U.S. women's national team. Yeah, fuck those bitches. Oh, man. You know, what's, you, you know what the funny thing is? My brother actually coached one of them. No shit. Yeah, he said, he said well, it, then one, the one that he's talking about is actually a pretty nice girl. But I know. think I, I honestly think they're probably all very nice girls that have gone into a, uh, have been unfortunately put are, are entering a clubhouse that has been taken over by bullshit. Yeah, which as soon as well, they get yeah. rid of uh, Megan Rapino, maybe they can fix their uh, their. Well, she she's their... gone. Is she's she retired. Gone? So maybe yeah. they can fix their their reputation and actually start playing soccer. Again. Oh, no! You, you, so you don't know? Oh no! Yeah. Oh. She, so so she retired. Uh huh. She announced her retirement, and in her last game, she was on the field for about five minutes. And ruptured her Achilles. <laughs> and like, I don't want to wish injury on anybody. It couldn't happen to a worse person on the planet. I know, right? What? Like, oh, there could. Yeah, there is not a worse person on the. I don't think there is anybody like she had single-handedly ruined. U.S. women's soccer for me. And I, I used to oh, watch yeah. this shit all the time. But her and her views and all that shit, when they put basically put... She was never I, even good. I deserve this. Now, she, highly, I, I think she's... Overrated highly overrated. In terms of, in, in terms of the but, rest of the squad. So, like, her, her last kick for the U.S. national team, she, she skied a penalty kick that's that, what lost, she, that, that lost them the match. Yes, I know. Game. I made a, I made a short about it because it was oh, fucking that's right. hilarious. Yes. Because 
Fuck her. Like she that's what she's known for. She, like do you know how many like yeah. cuz I used to watch that shit with my sister like and my father. We used to be big fans. We yeah. watch we watched the tournaments. They went to the games, right? We, we used to watch the, them like like as big fans of their now I wish for them to lose because of their attitudes mm-hmm. and they need to be brought down a peg with all this bullshit with free pay and then their fucking attitudes when they they they, they just whatever right I mean we're mm-hmm. getting off topic here but it couldn't have happened to a worse person on the planet she was never a good soccer player she never should have been on that team the whole reason she was on that team was political nonsense and they are so much better mm-hmm. off not having her on the team, and maybe they can fix uh, their reputation yeah. some and start focusing on winning and playing soccer, and that's yeah. it, and not money yeah. and all that other bullshit that they shouldn't be fucking concentrating on. She is a yeah. piece of crap. She was never – dude, do you know how many corner kicks I've seen her take that she kicks the ball about 18 feet – like? Closer to the, she's kicked. She takes, she takes corner kicks, and they end up in the center of the field. Like yeah. it's like I want. She's. I've watched her do that more times than I can count. The ball goes around the sideline. She goes to make a cross, and she just puts it fifteen miles over the goal because she can't kick. She's horrible. It's crazy how bad she was. Sorry, that shit no. bothers me. I fucking hated it. Yep. Oh, thank good riddance. Thank God. Mm-hmm. And the Achilles thing is just the, the you know the 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 freaking you know icing on the on the cake. Yeah, and uh, Nick, I I would not put it past the USSF to hire her as a coach. They may, they may. Yeah, well, I I think the uh, the current person in charge of the USSF is a pretty radical individual. Um, I, I think soccer in general, in terms of the federation operations, are pretty in, in pretty bad shape in look, terms of the, their leadership. Look, the whole equal pay thing, like I know we're going off a tangent here, but the whole mm-hmm. equal Nate the lawyer did a whole thing about it. I watched yep. it. Yeah, he breaks it, it down video. to a T. It's a it's a brilliant video. It breaks it down perfectly. They got exactly what they asked for, and then they didn't like it. So then they renegotiated and gave them exactly what they asked for again. Now they're taking yep. money away from the men. And yeah, they're, not they're actually winning. making more than the men. And the men don't make anything unless they win. The women just make money. They, they make they The see, women make money see, when the men win. The men play for the national team for, uh, you know, pride of, of country and being in the United States. So they play for the United States. And if they win and do well, they get prize money. That's how they get paid on the national team. And, of course, sponsorships and that shit. But sponsorships are like your job. They're your real job. You've played well enough that you got the job of sponsoring Nike. And then, guess what? When they're not playing for the national team, they go to their fucking daytime job, which is, oh, I don't know, playing in one of the other leagues around the world. Now, mm-hmm. why why do the girls bitch about it? Because nobody watches their fucking I mean, the Premier League, I guess the Women's Premier League is doing a lot better, which is good for them. But if you're not bringing in any money, nobody's going to fucking pay you. Nope. And you don't deserve it, frankly. Yeah. Sorry. And and, and Yannan and, uh, uh, yeah, Yannan. So women's tennis and women's volleyball out earn their respective male counterparts because in those sports, that's who, who gets the views. That's who, who everybody watches. People don't watch men's volleyball. People don't watch men's tennis. They're more interested in the women's side of those sports. So why, do you, why, why, do you think, why do you think people don't watch men's volleyball and watch women's volleyball? Have you seen the asses on those women? Holy shit. Man. Fuck, the, those girls are freaking crazy athletic. Uh-huh. Like, like not even fuck. Like, god damn, man. That's why they watch it. Like, come on. Let's be real. Oh, yeah. The same, thing, the same thing the women could be doing if they could get over themselves. Yeah. They're, just, they're good soccer players out there, and most of them are beautiful. Like, like and, just... and, and I'm sure that like if you if you look at uh, men's versus women's um oh, shit. Um gymnastics, I'm sure that the men don't make, make much out oh, of that. I, I'm sure I'm sure it's you heavy, know. heavy women. Yeah, you know, so I mean it, it's 
It's crazy. Yeah. It's just it drives me fucking nuts. Yeah. But thank yeah. I hope they I hope she never comes back. I hope she just takes a long vacation and wherever, you know, she wants to go and she can live her life in peace doing yeah. what she wants to do. Yeah. She won't live in peace because there is none for her. She she's all about the you know, herself. Yeah. Um right. That's... So yeah, um and Sh- Shidar, uh, men's tennis is cool. I used to follow it. I used to play tennis in high school. Um, and so, like, Stefan Edberg was my favorite. Uh, loved watching him play, him playing Boris Becker and all them. Uh, it was it was really great. Dude, I used to watch Pete time. Sampras and Andre Agassi all the time, man. Yeah, some great players. I mean, I still remember watching that uh, that epic game where I watched that epic game where Sampras was sick and thrown up all over the court at Wimbledon. Uh-huh. That was fucking crazy. Yeah. That was that that's legendary right there. That that yeah. If people know about that one, but yeah. Yeah. Well Andre Agassi, you know, he wasn't any good, but it was you know, he you know Yeah. He was he was a big okay, <laughs> but but you know, he got right. he got he had the look, so he was getting all the uh I forgot what camera company he got. Uh oh yeah. Uh, Nikon, I think. Is it night was it Nikon? I don't remember. Yeah. He was can was it was it Canon? I don't know. He got he got big yeah. he got big One uh, of the two. Big, big money from freaking Ken Federer is is insane. F- Federer's probably the best of all time. Uh, you know, it's it's tough to argue with uh, with him. And and what what's awesome is if you watch, I think it was Federer when he's playing a mixed doubles match for for uh, uh, for charity, and he grunts like the women do. Except he even over exaggerates their grunting. It is hysterical. <laughs> My dad likes what's his name? J- J- is it? I, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Fucking the Serbian guy, Novak. Oh, uh, uh, Djokovic. Djokovic. Yeah, there you go. Dude, he's impressive. Yeah. I like him. I like. I like Nadal. Um, you know, my, my, my dad likes Djokovic just because the the tennis world doesn't seem to like him. So he no. <laughs> well, they don't like him because he's not vaxxed. Exactly. There, there you, you know. go. Because he he has a he has his own thoughts. So yeah. So so oh, should we get back to this? Yeah, sure. That yeah. No, that's absolutely right too. That, but she got paid because she brought yeah. in the fucking views. That's the whole point. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they it, they deserve it. They deserve it. It's if like they if make you, the money, you give earn them the money. It, That's exactly is it. Right. People want to bitch about how football fun, how football gets all the things in, in in the world. Like like American football gets all the things in American sports or in American schools because it brings in the money. Yeah. American football funds the oh, the, the, the networks That's to be able to put out their crappy shows. Yeah. So I mean, the, the these contracts. I mean, that's that's the crazy thing, you know. So when it comes to making the money, you know, it's like just because you would like to see something different, uh, you know, or see some more sports differently or whatever, doesn't mean you fucking deserve it. They, yeah, that they fu- the sports you, deserve you, it. You, you know, it, yeah, it's one of the. We can move on, but it's like the reality yeah. is, it's like whether you like football or not. Uh, right. Does your does your sport fill up a fifty thousand uh, person stadium every Saturday, yep. and, and sell out a uh, hundred hundred dollar or more tickets and make hundreds of thousands of dollars for your school? Yep. So you can have nice computer labs and other shit. Just yeah. shut up and enjoy that you're <laughs> that, that there, you're able to have these things because of the football team. There is a reason Ohio State. Has one of the largest athletic departments in the world, and other because, sports bringing money too. But you know, fo- football. Yeah, big. Ohio State's insane. Oh, I'm, I'm, I mean, a lot of the, oh, and, and yeah, and that's not that's not just men, you know, women. Women's sports bring them with some money, some places too. But it's just like you know, yeah. it's it's like it's like it's like Alden said, you get paid per eyeballs. You get it's not really hard. Yep. That's it. Okay. All moving right. On. Moving on. Yes. That was a weird. Uh, I don't even know how we got on that, but I, I don't know either. Um, Megan Rapino. Uh, <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> Man, look at that, that spear. Look at that. that. Oh, spear. Look at that spear. That looks like a spear of Cause, justice. Because it's it's not an ashen dar. That's for fucking sure. Yeah, that is a spear of justice, integrity. Hell yeah. <laughs> integrity. <laughs> The bed post, bed post, hell on screen, absolutely. Yep, and the oh, the voting on, on that still hasn't changed. The spear's still up twenty five twenty. 
Is it? Oh, mm-hmm. we need some more votes, peeps. Mm-hmm. Let's get the votes. Barf. Uh oh. All right, which scene is this? <sighs> is this? Is this where he runs into? Perrin oh, it is. Uh, yeah, because he's he's about to stab uh, Perrin, <laughs> but he's not going to. Jesus, man, that is such a look. Look, look at it. Like, <laughs> like, guys, like what a small ass city. It's not like we've seen like wide shots at how big this city is. They just right. happen to be walking down the same city. It's a path in that city. Whew. Wow. We'll, we'll call it Taviran work. We'll call it Taviran work. Not that the show knows what Taviran is, but we'll just call it Taviran work. All and right. Then, out of the mist. Out of, what, what the fuck is the mist doing there? Dude, why is Mashadar in Falme? <laughs> and why is it white? <laughs> right. Oh, well, wait. White, white racist Falme? What, or racist Mashadar? What, oh, my God. Was was Mashadar a white, white cloud in... in... Shadow I always thought it, I always pictured it black, so I, I don't just like a, a black ominous fog. But I, I don't know. Chat, that, that's just I, I, my, I thought it was a white a white mist. That's my head cannon. I always thought of it as like a murky, like almost like a volcano type, mm. like you know, black yeah. gray yuck. But uh, that's my head cannon. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, but either white? way, okay, yeah. Bill, why is it here? John says John says white, so. I mean, I just, you know, like I said, silvery gray mist. There you go. Yeah. Grayish okay. white fog. Yep. So you're right. I'm wrong. I'm going to keep saying it's a black, ugly mist in my head because <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Just like I don't care well, what you say. What are you doing to Canon, Steve? I, Come that's on. What I was just going to say. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Uno is uh, is Guido Kane, and nothing can change my mind. Cause, cause and, and, a, and apparently a hell of a cocksucker. I, I know personally. Which why is he under my desk right now? Because he goes sorry. all the way down to the base. Anyway, He's up my ass crack right now. Oh, sorry. My well, what is that guy? Ca- <laughs> what is that guy carrying? What was he carrying? Lady, uh, probably his sword. Alana's down there too, but you know, um, it was probably his sword. Uh, look at that. Is, is his parents sucking on Matt's neck? It's like, yeah, baby. Yeah. He's like, ooh, you're Adam's apple. Mm. He's like, did you, I, let me tell you about apple the Apple a day keeps I've, the doctor away. Hey, Perrin, I'm so glad to see you. Now, I am going to abandon you in a second. Um, I've already abandoned Egwene. Um, I've also abandoned Rand. So I'm going to go fuck off in a second. Okay? Is that? I think that's what they said to each other. Mm-hmm. Like, what's going on? And, and, and okay. it's like, uh, I don't know. I made this bedpost dagger, though. Neat, huh? <laughs> You were always so good at home, Eck. <laughs> yeah. You were such so, an artiste at home. Okay. Are you so, sure this thing's going to hold? Eh, yeah, sure. Why not? Fine. Yeah, all right. All right. So look at her stance. So she's already reacting to something. Go back to Bane Chia with the bow. Okay. Look at the look at those uh, Spirit of Halloween uh, spears right there. Yeah, right? The cheapest looking shit I've ever seen. And, man. and, and now she's oh. just standing there. Look, Look at, at her limp wrist shoes. What? What is oh, up with these people? Like, I don't. Oh, maybe it's just the shade. I think it's just the shade. It looks. Yeah, like... it's not curved. It looks like it is though. <laughs> it totally looks okay. curved, like a little jester yep. shoe. Yeah. And so, it so in in the cut, she moves from a defensive position to this, all of a sudden, like she was preparing for something. Now she's not prepared for something. Matt reacts to the missed people. Missed people. <laughs> missed people. Okay. Oh, it's it was just his. It One, was his sword. I thought he was carrying something with his skirt. Yeah. So I think there was just two that we saw coming through the mist, and barely a second one at that. And then. Well, but uh, I'm gonna go fuck off and. Uh, See you later. I gotta save myself. Oh, and here comes Avienda, you brave bitch. Uh, is she chucking her spear? Oh my god. Yeah, she's gonna chuck it. What? <laughs> what <laughs> fucking ridiculous porn. What in fuck is that? <laughs> that is the, <laughs> that is the like, worst form I've ever seen. That is fucking like like that fucking spear. Lamar Latrell in Revenge of the Nerds. That spear right now, <laughs> right now, that spear is at its zenith. 
Oh my god. There is n- there's no way that's going more than 10 more feet. <laughs> like she didn't even put some weight behind that. I mean, look at this. Dude, like like seriously, that that like, totally looks like the Revenge of the Nerds, the the dude that that like <laughs> she steps in, like it's but it doesn't like, even look like she gets any leg extension into that sucker. She's like, "Eh, I tossed it." <laughs> It's like me throwing left-handed. Ew. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my God. It's fucking crazy. Uh, Is that the noise she made? Right. <laughs> it's going to go right through his head, right? Oh, uh, right into his heart. Look at that. Like, oh, come on, man. keep running down the street one by one so they can pick you off. But there was no blood. Oh, None no. None whatsoever. But the I thought blood, blood was supposed CGI to erupt immediately. Wait, are, where, how did Perry get all the way down there? Did they really start running right away? <laughs> <laughs> Look how far away they are. They're like, fuck out. Like, seriously, he's like five feet past now, man. Away. They like sprinted out of there. They're like, peace. I'm gone. There goes her arrow. So, right into. Where does that oh hit that God, guy? One shot, one kill. It's amazing. Where did it go? Did it go right to his neck? Neck, yep. And now this guy's walking. And she's got an arrow already knocked. That That's, might be yep. the other one. It be might fair. be. Those those oh. spears look like shit, dude. Good yeah. grief. <laughs> Why are they fucking going off their feet like they got hit by a truck? Yeah. You would get hit and you would fall forward. Your momentum is going to keep you going forward. Hey, Yunan just said it. Why is it stopping him cold? No, she shouldn't be throwing her spear like that. She should be using her fucking bow. But so we, had to, we, had to, you know, we had to have her fucking javelin because girl power. Like Yanan says, shoot me with an arrow. I want to experiment. <laughs> Oh my maybe, god! Maybe, 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 uh, maybe Avienda could uh, throw one of her spears, like, yeah, and see. <laughs> I guarantee you, that's not piercing any armor like it did there. Man. Mace was like, "You're not paying me enough for this shit," but I guess I'll go sword fight or something. Bye. Yep. Well, because and I'll tell you why. Did. So why did they stop shooting? They sh- why? Well, because they've all shot their one arrow limit that the show has. It, it, I, I, I have yet we we have yet to see someone fire a second arrow. I like why aren't you just letting loose? Yeah, why don't you throw a second javelin? Right, just well, because what you would want to do, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But you've got a come oncoming enemy. You could sit there and take those take care take advantage of your range and push your line forward, right? Well, they're just coming at them one at a time, too. It's like next, yeah. next, next, just shoot them. I mean, this is ridiculous. So let's see, but let's hey, see Mason one one forward. arrow, one spear throwing limit. And am then... I gonna cringe here? Probably. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Happen there, but okay. Why so is he, he dead? So what? he parries and just goes right by him. Does he Why slice he him? Dead? Does he cut back on him? What is this shot? He falls into the fucking shit. <laughs> he he just lets him. He parries and lets him go by him. Why? He's, he's just standing. He's like, what? Where did he go? <laughs> he's just standing there. Oh my goodness. He's like, where did he go? He's right in front of me. He's not here anymore. Oh my goodness. He's like, where did, where did he, why, I can't turn around. Like, like, he's standing there. He's got. <laughs> Three bitches in front of him who aren't rearming themselves. Just <laughs> like, but 
it's like, it's like oh we shot our arrows we're on break we'll be back yeah, right right we're then they, they called they called time out yeah we're not fighting any more people right now oh god all right so <laughs> oh, damn. what remember what is this one remember the days Remember the days when you used to slow down Bruce Lee gently move movies and stuff to see how awesome it was it was put together. Yeah, this is totally the same. Yeah, I remember they were so fast. They, that that was the other thing with Bruce Lee and Jet Lee. Their their moves are so fast and crazy. They have to yeah. slow down for the freaking scenes. Yeah. The on, the only thing fast about this are the jump cuts. Yeah. Yeah, Bruce Lee and Jet Li are so fast with their martial arts, and there's other guys out there now too that they have to slow down to make it seeable. All right, so he passed Mr. Stander there, who is still standing there. Yeah, so he parried the one, the next guy. So we'll go back. Did they just tell him to fight worse because you're making everybody look bad? Mm Mm-hmm. So he knocked that guy by. He knocks that guy by, who looks like he falls into the wall. Yeah. But then again, he doesn't because he's just standing over there. Are there two shots? I don't know. There? I think there was I one on the ground. One. I don't know. I don't know. Was there, let me... The big stander. Mm-mm. Just the one that's going to come up on oh, uh, on oh, his oh, right oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. I'll show you what I'm saying. So it is. So. That's a female one too. It looks like. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Which, which makes sense why she just stands there afterwards. Uh, Sorry. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, we're so sexist. Okay, so he just decides to push her off because maybe mm-hmm. he doesn't kill one. Okay, right. so wait, 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 wait for the shot where we see Big Stander. I'm pretty sure there's a sideways foot on the on the ground going left to right. Okay, right there. Is that by the hilt of his sword? Is that not a foot down there? It could be. Like through his legs, it looks like they're. So we're not seeing it again, but. I, so I, then I, who I, the fuck is this? I don't. Plus the build on this other guy, the sta- big stander. Look how big big stander is. Mm-hmm. That's not the person that attacked him. Yeah. It, it, it is a different guy. It, it's a. Fuck. This show. It's oh my goodness. A much, it's a much bigger guy. Oh, look. That's right. Oh, look. A narrow alley. That one person can defend against many. <laughs> oh, my yep. God. We haven't. Are we reenacting this? Yep. All right. So Again? he parries. So he parries this guy's swing. Slices his belly. But, of course, they cut through that. And now he's already got his sword raised again. Because that's, you know, of course. And he's gonna swing, of course. Cut it. What? Did they cut it? Sorry, it's, yeah. it's frozen, frozen right now on our. Uh... Did you hit play? Yeah. Huh. Oh. It didn't move. Oh. Huh. Okay. We're at five fifty-seven. If I don't know if you need to re- reset it. That's weird. Well, let me see if. It dude, the weirdness of of fall, flop me has broken VLC again. Well, it's moving, so let me stop it's, sharing it's the screen. Playing, it's playing for him, but it's not sharing it for some reason. So, yeah, let me re- reshare it. <laughs> so, man, flop me, isn't it some of the best fighting we've ever seen oh, in our sure. lives? Share screen. What do you guys think, chat. Have we have has everybody voted? Let me go check here. What in the Let's world? See. What happened? It it keeps on stopping the share. Okay, so I'm gonna jump out and jump back in. Okay, try that. Yeah, man, that's weird. Nathan's breaking streamyards again. What can I say? We haven't had another vote since we went out of here. Hopefully we get more votes. We're at forty-five votes for. Wow, that's great. Is anybody gonna vote it in? Uh... 
The Band of the Red Hand, Worst Moments, The Fecal Four. Welcome back. Hey. Voting for your worst moment. I don't think Trip's here anymore, but I can... Uh, okay. Share to the I Discord. Think, I think it's something with the VLC. So I'm going to stop VLC and open it up again. Okay. That's weird. It really That's is. Weird. Old. Very odd. Ash and dagger can burn in hell. It's true. Let's see here. Where's the vote? Uh, I don't think. Damn it! It's under the March Madness tab in uh, under general. I think. Why I can only. Discord. If, I don't know if Trip's still here or not. Trip was adding the link earlier in. Uh, ooh, I wonder if I can find Trips. I should have started okay. her. I'm going to completely jump out okay. instead of just restarting, and then we'll see. I'll see you in a, in a minute. That's weird. Yeah. It broke it. It's amazing. Flop May broke Nathan's computer. Can you believe that shit? Sorry, I'm looking for the. Uh, I am looking for the link. Trip has put it up a few times uh, in here. Let's see here. That might be too late. Let's see here. I should have started her comments for easy finding, but uh, I'm not. I do not have the power to share the link. Uh, where did she go? Let's see. Sorry. Nathan's having some technical difficulties, so. Uh, I can't seem to find it. Sorry, I swear I'm looking. I wonder if it only got shared the one time. Okay. Oh. Well, it's on the band Discord. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the closest I can get you. Yep, that's that. So... Won't let you ask it. Yeah, it won't let you access the Discord. That's weird. Hey, we got anybody on the Red Hand Discord on here that can uh, tell me why it's, it it won't let uh, him in there? I don't think it's invite only, is it? It's weird. What the hell? <laughs> Are you losing it, you know? <laughs> there you go. It's working now. Okay, let me get back to the right spot here. You were at 557, I think it was. Yeah. I believe you are correct. Okay. I wish I should have starred her comment about... Because uh, she... <clears throat> Here's uh, a link for uh, the March Madness, and I can't find it. Well, moving on, I guess. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Ooh, Dovey. Dovey. 20 month member, man. That's impressive. Dovey, you're crazy. I got, I got, the, there's your, in, the Dovey inspired, uh, Emote right there, up in the right hand corner. Yes, epic. You can you can now use it in chat too. Hold on, where yeah. is it? There it is. It's awesome sauce. Boom. The Dovey inspired emote. I can't find the damn link.
Well, I can't find it. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Maybe Triple will poke her head back in here at some point. She's probably moved on to other things. Want we'll to see if I can post it in there? It just won't. It, it, I just don't have access because I think it's only for like uh, moderators and stuff. So oh, on the, on, yeah, on the band. Yeah, it won't let me. Uh, it won't let me. Like I can link the Red Hand Discord, but I can't link the. Um, I can't link the the yeah. act, exact like the exact Discord page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think I just tried to there. So, yeah, it just does. It just does red hand. So, right, my mine looks a little different than your link. I think. Oh, it doesn't so maybe you do have access and I don't because I'm just uh, maybe I'm just more special. It's possible. That's okay. So, yeah. Dan didn't. Let's see. That might that Did might it, work. So th that worked. I don't know. I'm gonna check right now. Yep, that worked. Awesome. They like you more than me. That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. so if you want to vote, use uh, Nathan's link there, and you can go right to the March Madness page, and, and we're in the top four. So there you go. Make, make sure you mark Kneeling Rand and also uh, the, um, the Inktar Redemption as your vote. Because that's the one that really deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard me right, Al Dan. Oh, snap. All yeah. right. All right. So uh, back to so, firing boats always. Thank God. Yep. Thank you very much. Oh, wait. What did, what did it do? I didn't want, don't want to miss Dobie's chat here. Hail nerds, what's new? Uh, just the same old shitty fall May fight. Thank you so much for being a member for twenty months. Appreciate you, buddy. Mm. I'm enjoy empty. that. Enjoy that new emote. That was a good beer. Oh yeah, you finished it. Holy shit! Yep. God damn. Yep. All thirty-two ounces of it. My God. Uh, That's it's like one full quiver of bows. Yep. Right. So you got like <laughs> like four arrows in there. Uh, yeah, maybe. We're, yeah. We're, sorry, sorry. I, well, is it late? Is it time for you to be sleepy? Because then, thank you're welcome. If it's not time for you to be so sleepy, I'm sorry. We're having our technical difficulties tonight. It's all good. Yeah. Thank all you right. for being a month, for nine a month a member for nine months. <laughs> I appreciate it, dude. Almost to Calendor, you are almost. Hell yeah. All right. So we have the hallway fight. We have the mysterious woman jogging to her death. And then he just body checks her. It's like, no. Yoink. Yep. Body checks her. She falls. And then all of a sudden there's somebody behind him just standing there. Come on. I mean, really. Yeah, I, I still don't understand what that guy's doing, but... He just parried that guy, and uh, right. what is that? So right. Was that the guy he cut and was moving on? I'm gonna guess. So why is um, he just standing there like, "Owie, he hit my it, shoulder." <laughs> you're right. If that's the guy he cut, shouldn't he be on the ground? I, I guess. Like, I don't know I mean, why he's like, "Owie, spowie, you cut me." Bit me this man. jump cut is so it's, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. I, I'm hoping right. the guy's gonna fall over. Oh my god! Oh. Another jump cut. God, why? Why is he looking at me standing back there? And 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 they jump cut in the worst spots. Like he's, they jump yeah, cut. Like he was swinging the sword down. He's standing back there. Why? Yeah. Who? What the fuck is that? Uh, just, okay. What? That swing came from the wrong spot. He's Masima is back there. You see him in the background. That's him in the background. Oh my goodness. Him? That's what I said originally. He's back there. It's not even him. What the fuck? That is 100% Masima. So go to the jump cut again. Oh my goodness. It's like, what the fuck happened? 
Like, what? They, they sit there, they, they do these jumps before, like, at the wrong points, too. If you're going to, do the jump cut right after contact is made with the sword or the individual, right? Not yeah. as it's approaching. Think, let them finish so, the fight. Here, okay, yeah, yeah, that she falls, you know, guy standing back there. Okay, parry. You would think there's a slice, but, you know, jump cut. But, so here, watch. Here comes the jump cut. Right when they're about to, he's about to hit him. Right. So, one frame, two frame. Jump cut. Masima is back there with nobody. Two frames just to get and the motion of the screen. Redhead, you can see the redhead fucking Aiel chick behind this guy. Right behind him. You see her hair right there. Here? So, yeah, that's her. That's that's one of them. Because you see the bow over the right shoulder and the stupid Spirit of Halloween this? arrows up there. Okay, so if that's... How, so how, how, did how she Why did he teleport him? right there and he's not fighting anybody? How did they get in front of him? He jumped in front of them. Like, yeah. Where, where, where are they now? He ran in front of them to fight. So how all of a sudden is he now back there again? They're not in the hall, same hallway anymore because there's now too deep, too wide. It's and it's now the the two Aiel girls fighting. So it did this. Is this going on? Did this guy? Was this the guy that was standing that was just standing there behind him? I guess best case scenario, yes, but I don't think so because. This is a wrong. Ho- this is a different hallway. It looks Unless... like anyway. So, so are we to believe that he finished off the guy in the hallway is now turned around and standing there is watching them fight the two right. people that he so walked now by. Th- this this action is happening now behind Masima because he was going that direction. So but now he's see, turned around. We didn't see Masima fight the guy that he hurt. He's just already on the ground when we cut. Right. Is that best case scenario here? I think so. That's fucking nuts. Why would you do that? And and the the lighting's all different. And there she's kicking him because that's how that works. Cut her fucking leg off. I am so tired of fucking little kicks when people have weapons. One, two, cut the, three, cut the limo. four, five guys. <laughs> five guys coming at her. She's gonna take them all on. Of course, she's a whore. Oh, this guy fell down. <laughs> Where? So where's and, Nate, and where's the team right now? Yeah, so there's, so she spun off of that guy. This guy fell down. Why? <laughs> what kind of weapon is that guy holding? Oh, okay. It's a sword. It was just like near the sheep. Why did that guy fall down? Uh, yeah, that's why I was wondering. Why did the guy above him fall down? This guy. This was the first guy that fell down. For what though? I don't know. He, he's starting to get back up. He's starting to get back up. Why are they falling down? <laughs> <laughs> I think this was the bitch that he cut earlier, <laughs> or that he not the ink that the Masima knocked over. He's just like taking a nap. He's just like, I'm done. I don't want to fight anymore. So fell down, fell down. These guys are still standing. Don't know what that dude's doing. Once these, again, I am these... asking, where the hell did the money go? How did any of this get past the editing phase at all? I can only conclude that these are the combination of the best shots they had. If so, wow. It has to be something like that. I don't understand. It's like, let the well, two clash. I don't understand why you don't let any of the fights breathe at all. It's just like, oh, swing, right. swing, swing, cut away. It's like, can you, like, can you please let, like, just, just let one of them have an extended fight? Oh, wait a second. I know why you can't well, do that. Because your stuntmen can't fight. Your actors and actresses, save for one, can't fight. So you can't have them actually have a fight because it's painfully obvious they don't know how. Yeah. Well, and add to that, if you do show some sort of physical activity going on, you end up showcasing how poor everybody is trained at what they're doing because you show Avienda throwing a spear 
with the worst sort of form that you could ever like. Yeah, it was bad. She, she wouldn't qualify for the Special Olympics, dude. No, it was really bad. And yeah, pro- I'm sure reshoots are a giant problem too. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. So where, where's Masima now? So where are they all going? What is going on here? So, so is now is, is Masima it, over this? there? Is that is that Masima? No. So Masima ran Masima's, on the other side of Masima's no. got to be over here. No, he was in front because, of them. Because that, yeah, right. I so, I, right. So I think there was a battle ball. Right. So yeah. what we what we've witnessed so far, right, is Masima runs in front of him down the hallway. He body checks the one and then barely pushes the other one to the side. Right. Then he's on the other side. He takes the slash at the other guy. Then we cut. Right, and the guy that he's fighting is on the. We're assuming is on the ground, and he turns around to see the two girls fighting the two people he ran by. Right, so that would mean he is on the other side of of that hallway. Watch, he goes down. Okay, so we're assuming he's heading this this way. So he said this way. We're assuming that that one of the girls is fighting this guy because he just pushes him by. Right. Right. So go ahead. So there's no overhead. Right. Right. Overhead so go path, ahead. Right. So go and, ahead. There, and there's this little tent thing. Right. So go ahead and hit. So right. So he leaves that person for somebody else to fight. Yep. He goes through another one. Blocks him. Slashes him. Yeah. He should be dead, but apparently yep. not. And, the tent and then this is the guy who jump, This is the guy we do the jump cut for. Yeah. So now we jump cut, and there he is, right there. Right, so if yep. we're giving if we're giving best case scenario, he's defeated the guy he's fighting, and the two girls are now fighting, right yeah. behind and him. Ahead, and, and but right, but they're and they're yeah they're ahead of him so now. All of those, here's no, they're behind him. But but here's Deshaun, the thing: Deshaun Chan should be coming from behind Masima right now towards them. Yes, but here's an overpass that was not there in the direction that Ingtar was heading. So right. they ha- the only place that that could have been was behind Masima. So they switched it around. So they jumped in front of him somehow. So this is this is either a reshoot. So he, so he teleported behind them. Yes, or they teleported ahead of him. Something. But the, you there, see what there I'm is... saying, right? Because the position, yeah. when you go to the hallway scene, they should be running over Masima. And now, if you go yeah. back to the hallway, you're going to see Masima fighting one where he originally was. Yeah. Watch. So it's like, you, like, what the fuck are you doing? So now, if you keep the shot going, Masi- these should, these guys should have all ran past Masima, right? And I think you see on the top right. of the screen somebody fighting one of the Sean Chan in like the bottom right. corner. Right over here. Uh, I think so. If you go a yes. little further. Now, but in the prior shot, with the, with the overpass and everything, Masima should be over here, right? But, but yeah, originally, originally should have originally should have been there. Then he teleported behind the girls again. Now he's back over here, I think. And, and here's going to be where right this there. is. If you hit play a little bit, I think that's him right there. Yep, that's him. Yeah, no helmet, no um, yeah. So he teleported back and forth. Why did all these guys run by him? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, the, with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven Even just more. ran by him for no reason. Is it at because least they we saw now him know why. They like, oh shit, that guy can actually sword fight. We, we gotta yeah. Get, we gotta but at go. least we know why that first person tripped because he probably, Masima probably stuck his leg out. I, I, it would have been nice to see it. Instead, we have this horrible overhead shot and can't see shit going on. Yep. Now he's taking on another. This guy right here behind my logo should be standing up and just running him through in the back. Well, or, or any of the guys behind him. Yeah, like he let he let like let, like eight guys go behind him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Steve. That was shit. That's really really bad. It's terrible. It's like they the, can't the, even get the, the editing, the jump cuts. It's like it's like if, if anybody's paying attention, like that whole scene is a mess. It's just a mess. 
You're better off having like three people have a fight. Like, but like we said, they're not capable yeah. of having a fight because they no, can't. No, no. Nothing, not, nothing's done correctly. It's it's absolutely impossible to follow it. <laughs> e- even when you're watching that at normal speed, you can't follow what's going on. No. There's just it, well, it, that, it's and that's chaotic. What they're trying to do. So they, they're putting a bunch of people with a bunch of equipment and just doing a bunch of jump cuts, so you can't really tell what's happening and calling it a fight. And then you can go, "Oh man, did you see all those people with swords and shit? That was epic." It's like, no, yeah. they didn't do anything. Right. Even it's the Battle of Winter alley. Night was better than this. What's that? The Battle of Win- Winterfell was better than this. Yeah. And that was a shit fight. It was terrible. It's a small alley where one man can let six, eight guys run past him. Absolutely, Jim. Yeah, I know. And yeah. not like, you know, keeping cover on your back is important when fighting. It's not, yeah, you it's... know. No, no. Why? Because, you know, why... why... Why worry about that when the script can just defend you for you? Yep, that's true too. Oh, oh man. All right. Passing of the first guy was not fine. Why would you let a guy pass you? Well, you could let him you pass you if, if if you were confident that the people that were that your other teammates behind you would take care of that guy. Buddy, my back. You there? No, I think. Uh, Was it your internet or mine? It's me. Okay. It's me. I mean, it's not the wor- the, the the passing by thing is not the worst of it, but if you're expecting uh, if you're expecting the IEO girls to freaking mop up, I guess. Right. Yeah, but that, that would be the only reason why. That that would be the only reason why. So if if that's what we're assuming is happening there, fine. Right. But that, what, that what, is definitely what, the least egregious of all the whole of the whole freaking fight. I don't know why the guy he slashes or call, slashes doesn't die. Uh, and then I don't know why he starts teleporting everywhere. And then I don't know why like eight guys run by him. I don't. None of that makes any sense. Yeah, that part's. Yeah. No, so, it, it's beyond the pale. So I don't. Do you want to? Do you want to wrap up, man? We almost went three hours. Yeah, I think it's probably a good spot. We're at the yeah. six-minute mark. Um, okay, cool. And uh, well, it's almost so, eleven thirty. So, but, yeah, uh, we got we got through two minutes of this today. Yeah, um, I, I don't like that. That I I also doubt Masimo was. I yeah, I, I, it's just one of those things. It's like if we're talking about the most egregious problems with that, it's the it's the least. But yeah, I, I don't. I don't know that he would engage. I, I, I or let let anything by. I think he'd engage every single one of them. But, but you know, like I said, it's one of those. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I guess. I, I, I guess it's at least believable uh, that that he he. You know, I just there, there's a lot worse problems, but it's. I still see it is not the greatest personally. I, I yeah. Well. That. I think the track record of the show and their direction of fighting, you know, dictates the issue, right? I would you know, just, I, just do I, I would a one no shot of him engaging one or two guys in a closed off hallway. Like they've already said, you know, one can stand against many in a hallway. Well, just let the guy that can actually sword fight do yeah. it with some sort some freaking, uh, with some stunt men and have him have an awesome fight. Just walking down the hallway, taking out dudes. One yeah. after the other, if he grabs one and throws it back behind him, and they shoot film with arrows or something, I, there, there's all kinds of st- no jump, cut, 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 jump, 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 and, until you can't figure out where the fuck you are or where right. the characters. Are. It's yeah. it's fucking annoying. It's like every time he goes, to, every time anybody goes to clash, it jumps and it yeah. sucks. Well, and, and that's and that's the thing. It's like it jump cut when he was about to slash that guy through the gut to him holding a sword up and it later, literally lasted two frames yep. and and then cut again. So you didn't you cut again, see it was the result. Yeah. yeah, and then it was in a different hallway, right? It's like, right. and then you cut, cut again and he's back to the same hallway, only he's let eight guys go by. It's like, how do you not recognize these editing mistakes or, or these problems? Because right. in, the, in the truth of the matter is, they're like, well, let's just speed it up and do it fast so nobody will fucking notice. Right. 
That's it. That's what they do. And yeah. it's, I'm tired of it. I would love to have a good one. Let's just have, a, it, it, you know, for, for all the problems that John Wick movies have story-wise, because they're all over the fucking place, that's why people like those movies. Because you actually get to see the fights. Even if some of them are ridiculous, you get yeah. to watch them fight. You get to watch them throw down. It's not... Jump away, jump away, jump away. Oh, they're they're about to no go, go, go. You actually are watching a fight. Now, are right. some of them ridiculous? Yeah. Hundred percent. But 100%. at least we're getting to see it. Oh, well, I mean, it, it, I, I think I mentioned this before. John Wick gets hurt in one room, and then by the time he makes it to the next room, he's perfectly fine to continue on, on, on the fight. Yeah. You know, and, and yeah, that's that that you got ar- you got suit armors and escalation with that. It's like it's like okay, right. we, we got a little crazy. But yeah, you know, like the dog fight in what in two is it two or three where the the fight with the it's three the fight with the dogs and Halle Berry. Uh, yeah, that scene's fun as hell. Yeah, <laughs> do yeah. I believe it? No, but it wasn't fun as hell. Oh, no. Fuck yeah! It was. So it's yeah. like you know, it, it's it's one of those you know, yeah, three. Okay, thanks, you done. You know, but so it's like. Yes, the story is a mess, and it, a lot of it's like, yeah, he's a god, or like, like he isn't human exactly. Um, but you stuff that because you're enjoying what you're watching and it's entertaining, and and, and yeah. you forgive you forgive it because like you, you know you're having a, you're, you're you're not being cut all over the place. Now, and right. I you know it's one of those things that John Wick is absolutely a movie. You, one not so much one's pretty good story wise and stuff but when you start you know it's one of those like you start developing a lot of problems and a lot of like you know people running forward with gun shit it's just like you have a gun stop running towards your target and shit right uh which you know uh what is it uh you know uh, no, scar giver good. trailer is, is the greatest at so you know i don't know if yeah. you've watched that yet but uh i want to no. i'll take this off the screen um the uh, the Rebel Moon Two trailer is basically a trailer oh, of people with guns running towards her, so she can slice them in two. Yeah. So, you know, it's one of those. Well, and like like you get with the John Wick movies, you get diminishing returns, but at the same time, when you go into those movies, you know exactly what you're getting out of them. That's true. You know the expectation level you need to have with them. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, and what Wheel of Time is trying to present is they're trying to present some epic high fan- fantasy action. And really, in all what they're presenting, you don't get any action. Like, even the action that they do give you is nonsense because nothing makes sense. I mean, you know, Born Hauled, uh, you know, senior and junior going at it at the doorway. Yeah, you know, with, with the Sean Chan, and then the rest of his troops just standing still behind them. And you can't even really like, see what, what what's doing. epic about this scene. Yeah, and you can't even, you can't even really see what the two of them are, are doing. They're just yeah, like well, they're not in really. Fact, in fact, the way they cut it is that they killed two people each, but it was the same guy. Yeah, instead of. You know, instead of having the Sean Chan army lined up outside yep. with a fucking cavalry charge of lances. Yeah. Fucking skewering those motherfuckers. Why would we do that? Yeah. Oh, cost, cost too much fucking money because we spend it all on right. vacation and tequila. Yeah. So let's stick them on a boat. <laughs> let's stick them on a boat and let's, let's have them just maze through the city like they're fucking ants and, and you know, have the little jump cut fight scenes. No, instead of doing an actual epic fight scene, and it's just like, yeah, yep. It, it, it's it, I I I don't. It's one of those things I struggle with too. Uh, I don't I don't quite I don't. I've said it a million times. You guys have said it a million times. The girl empowerment was is already baked into this fucking series. There are strong females all over this fucking series. Uh huh. So what's the problem? What? Why do we have to take it that extra fucking? Why are you so bad at your fucking job? I, I, 
you know, and, and you know, and, and I, I know, I know some of the people, the answer is diversity, equity, inclusion, but that shit is already in the fucking series. There are the strong, yeah. empowered well, female characters are already there. So why do, why right, was it not? It, them? But it's not, it, it's not fem- strength of, uh, of the female characters in the way that they want. It, it's, they, they want to present the, the strong female character as doing everything that a man can do when the book presents them all being able to do best what they can do best. No, I, I, and I, yeah. I know, I know that's the problem, you know, and I'm not, I yeah. am not ignorant to it. Right. It took, it took me a while to be like, how, how the, right. But yes, it, it, it's obvious. It's the problem in everything. And thank God, thank God for the video game people, video gamers out there that are fucking pushing back on all yeah. that bullshit. I, and salute you guys fucking like all, all, all the people that are not letting those fuckers it, it, it you know what sweet baby ink and xbox and all these people making stupid ass fucking comments all the gamers have said fuck you uh we've had enough and i yeah. I, I, I i couldn't be more fucking here for it and and thank god for them and i keep saying i can't i i, I hope it i hope it pours over into entertainment and other shit uh ha 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 have you guys seen the conjoined twins that got married to that dude dancing where he married one of the heads what Uh uh-huh uh-huh yeah they're they're sitting there having their first dance together and he's sitting there kissing on the one on his left wait what is this and the other and the other person on the Shoulder. Brittany got married and Abby isn't. What right. the fuck are we talking about? Hold on. <laughs> What's Brittany and who? Oh, it, it's... Abby. And oh Jesus Christ, who? Oh my, it's is this brand new. I don't know if it's brand new or not. I think so. Um, it, it it's real. Uh, uh, and any honest question that you have in watching it is going to get you canceled straight up. <laughs> like the guy's macking on one of them, and like the other one's just like, "Oh well, uh-huh. yeah." <laughs> I, I mean, mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I don't. I feel bad. I don't know what else to say. Like, I, I, yeah. yeah. Well, it's. I don't like, want to make fun of them, but I feel bad. Like, it's just like, what? what how am I supposed to feel for the other sister? That it just has to thing. sit it's there like, and listen to her fucking. Like, what, do you put on noise canceling headphones and hope that you don't feel too much when they're when they're banging? It's it's like fucking the the fucking yeah. movie that that uh, fucking. <laughs> That's like the movie. <laughs> Jesus, reality is life. Art is becoming reality. It's like the fucking Matt Damon movie with uh, the dude yeah. from 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 uh, fucking Dumb and Dumber. She feels it too. Um, I, uh-huh. I don't. Yeah, like they they can both operate each arm. I mean, it, well, then they're not, she's married to both. What the fuck is the problem? Right. What if, what if Abby can't stand the guy? <laughs> I don't do it. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's on you. Yeah, that's just it. It, 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 is, it, it, yeah. it is. It is. It is. Uh, yeah. Someone like, asked like, what it's like when she is giving head. Well, good night, everybody. That's it for the prophet of the Dragon. Wow! <laughs> I think uh, I think officially they're going to shut me down in the morning. And uh, man, yeah, I, I have no it. idea, Alden. I don't even want to touch it. I don't That's send the asteroid. Too. Absolutely, I I just. <laughs> oh, yeah. There, there's it, it, it's one of those things like you can't. You can't help but kind of laugh at it, even though you know that it. I mean, like, 
There, there's so their many mission? honest questions out of that. I look, man. If they're happy, I, like they got a bum role. So, like, if they can find yeah. some happiness, I'm not trying to take it. It's just I don't, I don't, I don't fuck. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If they're happy, great. I, I don't know what else to say. What? Bido. Oh, the positions. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, basically. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I guess. God, how Great. weird would that be? That he's, he's in the one, you, and, and they're both making the same noise. And he's like, like, I don't care about you. The, the the twins fantasy is baked into the marriage right there. I don't I don't like how does how do you do that? Like like she, she's like even if she puts a bag over her head. Yeah, the, see Yannan's got the next obvious question. Well, yeah, well that that's that's it right there. She gets right. married, yeah. It, that, that's that's yeah. You know. That that's yeah, that's uh, yeah. Yeah. Look, man, yeah, thanks, Aldan, all... for bringing that one up. <laughs> Look, man, man, man. Like, really, they, those the, those girls got a really raw deal. So if they can, I I, I have trouble, I have trouble, care like if they're if they're yeah. happy and they're they're good, then they're good on them. I, yeah, it's, you it's know, it's hard, to, it's hard to imagine, but like, good on them if they're able to find happiness and and they can figure it out. Like, I don't know. I don't know how fucking you kid, but good on him. I like, yeah. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, I, yeah. It, it's yeah. That's a. Uh... I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I guess if the other one hates you, then uh, you probably wouldn't be getting married because she. Who controls the body? She's Bido. <laughs> I mean, it's an honest question. <laughs> like you, the, the questions are there, and they're legitimate. Well, who controls the body? They both do. How? How does that work? I know. Like they it's, both use one leg. Like, someone made the joke. Like you can no see way. Them. You're fucking kid. Like how are they living life like that? I feel. I'm feeling bad. I don't feel. I feel bad. That's terrible. Oh, I. 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 I had heard they both can. Can control it, everything. How does that work? If they both can control everything, I don't like, know. Would their heads just melt if, like, they wanted to move different directions? Oh, uh, okay. How that do they sense. communicate that they want to? I, I don't even fuck. It. I feel terrible for them that they got put in, that that that's their lot in life. That's it's fucking tragic. But if they you look, man, they managed to find well, I guess one of them managed to find love, I guess. Good on her, and I hope the other one doesn't fucking ruin it, I guess. Kick him in the junk or something with her foot. I I, I don't I just don't know enough of how it works, man. I don't know. This is this is a weird way to end the stream. Thanks. I know, there. right? <laughs> uh, well, so uh, fight autopsy. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. So we talked about women's soccer. Women's can join soccer, twins getting yeah, married. We're about everything tonight. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. And go Shit. vote. <laughs> yeah, go vote. Go vote. Fucking what a weird one. Oh, fucking weird man. one. It just sounds like fucking fucking. <sighs> Steve and Nathan shoot the shit stream more than anything. Talk about random shit. I don't... Hey, chat, what random bullshit do you want to... Hey, Steve, did you hear about the fucking two-headed girl that married a guy? It's like, what the fuck? Where the hell are you getting this shit? I don't... It's like, next thing you're going to tell me there's a dragon living in fucking England and I didn't know about it or some shit. I don't... like. Yeah. Can't sneak up on them in an alley. Holy crap. I hope they have a good sense of humor. That's all I can say. I, I would think you'd have to. After you'd have to, that. right? So, all right. Well, 
thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us all night, guys. You guys are legends. Uh, thank you for the super chats from Sam. Thank you very much, and thank you, Nate, for the gifted sub or membership or whatever we call it. Uh, Dovi and Yanon, thanks for being members for so long. You guys are awesome. And, uh, yeah, please uh, leave a comment or something, and like on the way out, and uh, we will hopefully see you next Wednesday. Should be on for it, I think. We'll see. But yeah, uh, should be. go vote, and uh, we will see you all soon. Good night. Uh, Thanks, Sherman. Sure, Catherine. What I'm going out on, though. Sorry. I guess we'll just do this. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <sighs>